All right, honey, go check in. Like, by myself? You're 16 years old. You still need me to do everything for you? Uh, yes. Please, Mom, like, I can't do it. Can you, like, please do it for me? Jesus, you need to grow up a little. Uh, yeah, maybe, like, next year. Honey, yeah, I'm here to check my daughter in for her physical. Uh, she has a 10-15 with Dr. Yumbles. Ma'am, it is 10-35. I'll have to see if Dr. Yumbles can still see her today. Do you know how hard it is to get your children up and dressed and out of the house on time? I went 105 down I-90, risking a speed and ticket, and I didn't even get my morning coffee yet. You and I both know we're gonna be sitting here for an hour and a half before we even get seen by the nurse. Now you tell Dr. Youngboss that we waited eight months for this physical and we ain't rescheduling. I'll see what I can do. What's the child's name? Emma Whitlock. Hi, sweetie. It's not your fault, mommy's a bitch. I love your little pigtails. I think we can make time for her. Pigtails? Uh, no, my daughter is 16. She's over there. So can they see her or not? Your copay will be $45. 40, Jesus, what's the point in having health insurance? Just bill me. You have too many bills that have gone to your house that have gone unpaid. Yeah, that'll fall off in like seven years. Payment will be required up front for kids' appointments. What for this? That lady was a bitch. It's not okay if we're 20 minutes late, but it's okay if they make you wait two hours to get seen, right? Two hours later. Emma? No. Oh, actually, Mom, we prefer if the older teenagers get seen on their own for privacy reasons. No, she wants me here. Trust me, it's fine. Let's go. Well, it's just... I carried her for nine months in my body and then pushed her out of my hoo-ha. And you want to talk about privacy? Yeah, okay. Okay, just right in here. All right, I'm just gonna have you fill out this form and the doctor will be in very shortly. Um, okay. Yeah, just put in all zeros. It's just to see if you have depression. Hello, I'm Dr. Youngballs. How are we doing today? Mom, I see you're joining us this morning. Yeah, you know what? I did give birth to her. Don't you think mom should know what's going on with her daughter? Hello again, Emma. Hi. Good to see you're growing well. Some places more than others. I'll take that. I'm here. Oh, there it is. Well, aren't you just a happy camper? You're lucky. Almost everyone these days has depression. Yeah, not me. I I like I'm like super happy. I like love life. It's like so it's so fun. Yeah, she's a very happy girl. I wish I could have some of whatever you're taking. Oh, I can like give you his number. <clears throat> I mean like my number is like sixteen. I'm like I'm sixteen. I can see that. And have you had your first menstrual cycle yet? Oh she got that when she was nine. Come on, look at us. She's clearly grown into her body. And are your cycles pretty regular? Yeah, they're regular. All right, now just a few questions for Emma. What am I here for then? Emma, would you like your mother to step out of the room while we go over these? Yeah, would you? No, she could stay. Very well. How often do you physically exercise? Um, like not much, actually. Like. Probably like never. No, she takes the dogs for a walk every morning. That's the counts. Do you always wear a helmet while riding a bike? I definitely like don't ride bikes. Does she look like she can ride a bike? She'd get knocked out. If you were to ride a bike, would you wear a helmet? I mean, I, I guess, yeah. Good. I mean, maybe if y'all fucking loser. And do you feel safe at home? What, what kind of questions are these? Of course she's safe with me. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you tell the nice doctor that we have a very loving home? It's a very loving home. Good. Are you taking any new prescriptions or over-the-counter medications or vitamins? Yeah, I like to take like Advil sometimes. I, I've been also giving her like a woman's supplement since she was a kid, but um, maybe, maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Do you smoke? Uh, no, she's a good girl. She don't do that stuff. Vape? Not that I know of. I was asking Emma. Um, is this like a test? Like, are there like wrong answers? No. Yeah. I mean, like, sometimes I like smoke weed. Oh, where are you getting that? 
All right, and um, how about how often are you smoking? Um, I would say like once or twice every like night. Jesus. Okay. You might want to think about cutting back a bit. That'll do damage to your lungs over time. Okay. Live now, like worry later. Alcohol use. Yes. Frequency. I'm both like the same as the weed. As you can tell, I'm a very proud mother. Mom, are you smoking in here? Smoking is strictly prohibited in this building. Put it away. All right, and last question. Are you sexually active? No. Good girl. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, so no reason to do a urine test then to check for pregnancy? I mean, like, if it's, like, included in the visit, we, like, might as well just do it because, like, we already, like, paid for it. I don't pay for it. Um, maybe, like, could you, like, do the other test too just in case, like, I, like, maybe, like, pick something up from, like, a toilet seat or something? I don't know. That's not possible. We can run that too if you'd like. Yeah, maybe just, like, be, like, extra safe. But not sexually active. No. No. No, ma'am. Okay. Any other concerns today? Yeah, she's been complaining about how she's getting uh, lightheaded when she's standing and uh, a lot of constant headaches and um, I guess some nausea too, right? It's probably just anxiety. It's very common in your age group. I don't feel that anxious. Are you under a lot of stress? I'm not really. Well, you are in high school and that's a very stressful environment. Sometimes we're very stressed and we don't realize it. It's very likely that your symptoms are just due to stress and anxiety. See, I told you, don't blame anything on mental health. Right? I mean, could we just do a blood test just to make sure it's not anything else, please? We're already here. I mean, we can order that if it'll put your mind at ease, but it's not going to show anything. There could be hundreds of reasons why you're experiencing headaches and nausea, and the blood test probably isn't going to show it, but we can do it if you'd like. Yeah, we would like to do it. Maybe check her thyroid, too. Do you have any family history of thyroid problems? No. But she clearly has a hormonal imbalance. Have you seen her chest? Yeah, it's probably just anxiety. All right, now we're going to do a quick physical exam. Yeah, can you check her mole on that leg too? It's been looking a little funky. I can refer you to a dermatologist for that, but they're booking out till next year. Oh, great. So if she has skin cancer, she'll just die before then? Perfect. Deep breath. Again. Mom, could you please take a seat? I know her best. I want to be here. Again. Um, I feel like I'm like, getting a little lightheaded. It's probably just anxiety, huh? You see what I told you? She doesn't have anxiety. She's having a real medical problem. Okay, lungs sound pretty clear despite the marijuana usage. Maybe we should order a chest x-ray just to make sure. Okay, lay down. All right, now we're gonna do a quick breast examination. Well, I'll go as quick as I can, but there's a lot of ground to cover here. I'm just checking for lumps. You should be doing this often. Oh, is she okay? Oh, no. They feel very healthy. All right, now I'm just gonna press on your stomach. Let me know if you feel any pain. You, you gotta tell the doctor if it hurts, Emma. And that hurts. That hurts too. She's in pain, is that a colon problem? Does it hurt because I'm pushing or does it hurt inside? I don't know. All right, you can sit up. You're probably just constipated. I recommend Miralax once in the morning and once before bed. Otherwise, you're pretty healthy. I will order those blood tests and give you a call if anything's abnormal, but I predict everything will come back perfect. So otherwise, I'll see you in a year. Thanks. Did you lie about not being sexually active? If you get pregnant, I'm not raising it. It was a severe global economic downturn that affected many countries throughout the- um, I'm sorry. World. Hi, um, I'm really sorry. Emma, you are 30 minutes late. I hope you were having a medical emergency. Um, you really shouldn't like, tell your students that you hope they're having like a medical emergency. Like that's kind of messed up. So you were? I was, yeah. I was like, I was at the doctor having like a routine physical. Like my, my mom called. She did not. Okay, well she was like supposed to. That's not my fault if she's like a bad mom. Detention. Uh, no, oh my God. I I can't even like, get her to call. I swear, I was like at the doctor. <laughs> um, mom, Hello? my teacher is like giving me detention because you like didn't call. Yeah, you know what? I forgot. You're going to show up 30 minutes late to my class and then start making phone calls? 
one week of detention. Oh my god, Mom, I'm literally like getting detention for life because of you. You shouldn't be blaming me for your problems, Emma. You really shouldn't be enabling your children to be making phone calls at school. She was at the doctor. I will be keeping this until the end of the day. No, please no. I'm, I'm, I'm like waiting for like a really, really important test result. Please, please don't do this to me. As your teacher, I can predict that you probably did not do well. Ouch. And not, not like that kind of test, like a doctor test, like a really important medical test. Well, you can find out at the end of the day. Are you dying? No, but I'm probably like going to want to if this test like comes back badly. What kind of test was it? Guys, this is like really personal. I don't want like my business everywhere. Oh my God. What? She probably has chlamydia. Oh no. I've had it a lot. It really sucks. Why did you get stool sample? I had to do one once. I had to poop in a cup and then refrigerate it. And then my brother thought it was chocolate pudding. Needless to say, he got the tape for him, but I had. No. Can we like, please like move on? I want to learn about like the Great Depression. Please. I love the Great Depression. Wow, whatever it is, it must be really bad. She wants Mrs. Aspen to keep teaching. That's enough. Emma, you have taken up enough of my class with your medical problems and phone calls to parents. I don't want to hear another peep out of you. Peep. 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 You said from Emma. I hate children. Moving on. So, the economic contagion began around September 1929. And that led to the Wall Street stock market crash on October 24th. Like I said, it's like kind of like a medical emergency. Can I like please take the call? Dude, you should like let her take the call. If it was a medical emergency, you'd be showing signs of distress. I like am having signs of distress. I'm having signs of distress because I want to learn about the Great Depression. Between 1929 and 1932, worldwide gross domestic product fell by an estimated 50%. I'm gonna pull my hair out. Whatever this is, it better be important. Uh, please don't. Hello? Yes, this is Emma. This is like so illegal. What is so important that you've had to call three times during my very important lesson on the Great Depression? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is wasting my class time. Okay, thanks. Yep. Bye. Fuck. I'm dead. I'm literally so dead. What the hell did they say? No. Emma, I am very sorry. It is dawning on me that that was very inappropriate and uncalled for for me to invade your privacy and I will probably be getting sued now, so. She's got the tapeworm, doesn't she? Don't worry, I've been through it. I'll help you. Oh my God, Gerald, I like don't have a fucking tapeworm. Hi guys. What's up? Why did you bring your stuffed animal? I think it's cool. It's like so in right now. This is my first sleepover ever. I'm kind of nervous. Oh my God, you've like never had a sleepover? Well, one time I slept over at my uncle Mark's house because my parents wanted to go to a strip club. Does that count? No. Oh my god, my ex-boyfriend's name is Mark and he was like way older than me. I would have had more fun at the strip club. Me too. It wasn't fun. He's very boring. He made me read the dictionary for five hours. Oh my god, my mom totally makes me read the dictionary too. I know so many words I shouldn't. Oh my god, girl, me too. My mom's literally a sex therapist. Okay, come sit down. We're gonna play a game. Is it spin the bottle or all girls? So what, Cassie? I'm literally bisexual. I'm gay. Oh, shit. I love women. I'm sorry. Like, literally, have you never seen Rihanna? JJ, I would like totally take you on a date. Like, you're pretty cute. Emma, can you get the Ouija board? Yeah. Hey, JJ, have you ever talked to ghosts? No. My best friends are ghosts. My mom told me not to ever play with a Ouija board. Come on, JJ, don't be a loser. Okay. Don't you want to be cool like us? Don't make fun of her. Okay, it's time to be serious. I don't really think I'm that cool, but whatever. Okay, everybody put your fingers on it. I'm a big girl, I can do this. Guys, <sighs> I'm scared. 
Okay, now we ask questions. Is there a ghost here? It says yes. Wait. JJ, you pushed it. No, I didn't. Wait, like, maybe I did. Okay, ghost, what is your name? M. A. R. K. The ghost named Mark. My uncle? Your uncle? My ex-boyfriend? Is he okay? Did he die? JJ, this is not funny. Stop messing with us. I promise I'm not doing anything. You guys are so stupid. Nate! Get the fuck out of here! I'm telling mom you said a bad word. Mom! What is going on in here? Nate is bothering me and my friends, and he pretended to kill JJ's uncle. Wait, so my uncle's okay? I literally thought my ex-boyfriend died. He didn't die. Who might also be JJ's uncle, so that was not cool. Mom, is no fair. I just want to play with them. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're a mean little boy. Nate, go to your room right now. I told you to stay in there unless there was an emergency. I am sick of your shit. You had me thinking my uncle died. Do you have any donuts? Hey, JJ, you're kind of hot. Ew, I'm gay. Me too. Like you kiss girls? Yeah. Now! Wow. Guys, I'm so sorry. That was very traumatic. I understand if you're upset right now. Are you, like, gonna be okay to go to school tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be fine. This is definitely going to come up in therapy on Thursday. Yeah, same. You girls better not have any drugs or alcohol in here. I would never. What kind of sleepover is this? Lights out in 10 minutes. Do you guys do drugs and alcohol? Who do you think we are? We don't do drugs. Just alcohol. Oh. Drugs are for losers. Everybody knows that, JJ. I mean, my mom does drugs, so I really try not to judge because she's a good person. Sometimes we don't have any money for food because she spent it all on drugs. Oh my god, girls, don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. Do you want to sip? Okay. I'm scared. Don't be, like, scared. You want to be cool, though, right? She's already cool, Cassie. I think I'm drunk. I'm, like, always drunk. Are we gonna cuddle? No. Oh. No, it's fine. I guess I'll just fucking sleep on the floor. This is a pretty fun sleepover, I guess. Can I at least have a pillow? I'm gonna shut up. Thanks. Okay, good night. I didn't bring a blanket. That's your own problem, Emma. Fuck you. Good night, guys. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> guys, I literally have a really important math test in the morning. Can you please be quiet? <laughs> if I don't get at least a C- minus on this math test, I'm going to fail. Wait, you actually, like, try? <laughs> Okay, guys, for real, we need to actually try to sleep now, okay? Okay, thank you. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god. Nothing's even funny. <laughs> I'm literally going to fail my math test. It's a cow with a little horse. It's a cow with a little horse. Who's that? Why is it shot? that jj i literally didn't sleep all night because cassie kept farting and it literally kept waking me up Ew. i literally did not is that true there's literally no way that i'm going to pass this math test yeah that's definitely why you're not gonna pass it did you try to dutch oven me i literally don't fart it's not it doesn't happen for me <laughs> that's so silly i don't know what you smell but it wasn't me the only thing getting passed in here is cassie's gas Literally, fuck you. Oh my god, don't say that word. You literally smell so bad. It's a bad word. And I'm trying to go to heaven. Yeah. It's too late for me. Oh I've already made out with too many boys before marriage. And girls. <coughs> so, are you, like, really experienced? Yeah, you could say that. Okay, lovebirds, can you shut up? It's time to get ready for school. Oh, no, 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 we're not lovebirds. I have a girlfriend. What? Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. I'm, like, thoroughly entertained right now. What's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm really happy for you. No, she's not. JJ, Emma is literally in love with you. What? Cassie, I'm literally going to fart in your face if you don't shut up. I didn't know that you like me. It's really obvious to everybody but you.
Literally, even the people watching this know. Girls, come on. It's time for school. Get in the car. Your brother's already in there waiting. Thank God. Thank you. Oh, hi, doll face. The girls are in the basement. Go on down and join them. We're having filet mignon for dinner, hon. How would you like it cooked? Mm, yeah, I would like it cooked. Thank you. Poor people are so weird. Hi, guys. Thanks for inviting me to your party. My mom made me invite you, so if you could just like stay out of our way and be quiet, thanks. I got you a present. Wow, a homemade gift. Cool. I love your braids. Mm, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, and how cute. You brought your horsey. What's his name? Yeah, what's his name? Her name is Buttercup. <coughs> Loser. <coughs> Say hi to our new friends. I love horses so much. I can even do jumps like them. Oh, show us. Really? No one ever wants to see. I'm sending this to everybody. She's such a loser. Um, why are you taking a video? So I can show everybody how cool you are, and now you can be one of the popular girls. Really? Okay, group selfie. Okay. Uh, JJ, can you just like stand on the end? I want to be next to my best friends, and you're not one of them. Okay. Ew, don't touch me. Okay, one, two, three, cheese. Cute. You're cropping her out, right? Yeah. Okay, never have I ever gotten so drunk that I had to call my mom to come pick me up because I started crying. It only happened once. Okay, JJ, it's your turn. Never have I ever had my first kiss. Oh my god, what a loser. I'll be your first kiss. Really? Do you want to kiss me, JJ? Okay. You're really pretty. Okay, come here. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, one, two, three. You really thought I would kiss you? What are you, a lesbian? JJ's a lesbian. JJ's a lesbian. Ooh, you've probably been looking at our boobs all night. What boobs? You're flatter than the earth, flat so. That's what. How does it feel, bitch? Mommy. Kill me. Mommy. What do you want now? JJ called me flat chested. Well, you are, honey. But don't worry, you'll get some boobs when you go through puberty. Maybe. And if not, you can just get a boob job like me. Tell her to go home. Nobody likes her. I like her. She's been making fun of me all night. Has she? Yeah, because you're a loser and you're embarrassing to be even seen with. No. You think you're cute because you carry that little horsey around? You're such a weirdo. No wonder no one's ever kissed you. I got plenty of hoes, bitch. What did I do? You did me a favor, hon. No, I'm gonna go to jail for the rest of my life. Don't worry, hon. We'll take care of it. <laughs> Ricardo, it happened again. We're gonna need the shovel. Thanks, Paul. So, hon, how's school going? Ah, shit. What happened? I'm dead. Where am I? Why does my head hurt? Who are you? JJ. I'm. I'm your best friend. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're so pretty. Really? She is, yeah, she is. Oh. Come on, JJ, let's go to my room and play. Okay. Okay, you can have fun. Teenagers. I honestly don't remember anything. Okay, well, just ask me whatever you want to know and I can just remind you. Okay, um, how long have we been best friends? Mm, well, a really long time, but you actually just admitted to me yesterday that you have feelings for me. I think you're a lesbian. Huh. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you told me you wanted to kiss me, actually. I did? Yeah. You're very pretty. Yeah. JJ, it's time to go home. JJ, what? it's time to go home. Dad, I was about to kiss my girlfriend. What? What? I'm your girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. I'm your girlfriend. Yeah. Damn it! All my kids are gay. Why are all my kids gay? I thought being gay was hereditary and I'm not gay and my wife is not gay, so maybe I'm the gay one. Oh my god. Dad, you ruined everything! JJ, get your ass downstairs and into the car. Now, fine! I'll see you at school tomorrow and you can hold my hand all the way to class. Okay. She will do no such thing! See ya, sweet stuff. See ya later. Yeah, you will. Are you cheating on mom with my girlfriend's mom? Mind your own business. Let's go. See ya, kiddo. What the hell? Oh, perfect. 
Let's make out in here. Uh, isn't this Casey's one? Yeah, who cares? She's not using it. So sad for her. Fair enough. Wait, did you break your arm? Yeah. Wait, did you break your arm? Yeah. When? It happened off camera. I don't know. Same. That is so weird that it happened to both of us. So, do you want to make out or what? Duh. Get on the bed. Mm, those are my favorite words. Wait, what is this? The book. The book? The book. What book? Casey's book. Oh my god, she's never let me anywhere near this before. We have to read it. I don't know, Zoe. That's personal. Okay, never mind. My God. Wow, she really hates Taylor. If you guys all hate her so much, why are you friends with her? I love Taylor. <laughs> she really does have a bird nest for hair. Oh my God, she wrote that? Oh my God, I can't believe she said that about her. What, what did she say? I thought you didn't want to know. Well, if you just tell me, then I didn't technically read it. She's making fun of her because nobody wants to sleep with her. That's so mean. I'm a virgin too. Taylor is not a virgin. She just can't get anybody to sleep with her more than once. Why? Look at her. Would you sleep with her? I said I don't want to see it. But no, I definitely wouldn't. Would you? No, definitely not. My standards are really low. Hi. No, I actually like you. That's why I'm taking things slow for the first time. Ever. Wow, there are a lot of penises on this page. I definitely don't want to see that. <laughs> okay, this is Loki so funny. Oh my god. A reaction to five inches. No. <laughs> this is so funny. Is that small? Poor innocent gay JJ. I don't know. We'll put anything in her mouth. <laughs> okay, but honestly, same. I feel that. Oh my god, wait, she stops her bra? I thought everybody knew that and we just don't say anything about it. I guess I just never paid much attention to her boobs. Are you sure you're into girls? I like you. Bye, or just a whore? Oh my god, that's so clever. I'm gonna put that in my Instagram bio. Whatever makes you happy. Okay, next. The British bitch. Oh, Rose? I like her. She was my first kiss with a girl. Literally, this entire page is just about how much she loves England. I don't really think she likes England that much. I think she just has a British accent. Exactly. Oh, look, it's your ex-boyfriend. Carlos is not my ex-boyfriend. Then how did you know this page was about Carlos? I have no counter. Well, it looks like you dodged a bullet. He's a three-incher. Poor Carlos. Or a future wife of Carlos. Wait, is he a virgin? There's no way. He tried to show me his test results when I went to his house once. Well, did any of them test positive? No. Can't get an STD if you're a virgin. Who would get tested for STDs if they're a virgin? A virgin who's desperate to have sex? He did seem pretty desperate. Wait a minute. How did she get all these photos? That one is literally at the party that she wasn't even invited to. Oh my god, you're right. That's so weird. Um, yeah, it is. Oh, are we not gonna talk about that or? Boring. Next. Oh, this is my page. It can't be good. <gasps> that bitch. 70% of the population has herpes. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, I don't have herpes. Oh, and I know where my Valtrex is. What a bitch. This is wrong. Your friend shouldn't be saying these things about you. Let's go downstairs. Oh, you're not the dumbest bitch alive. She wrote that? And I'm pretty sure you know what a condom is. Of course I know what a condom is. I'm not an idiot. I've just never seen one in real life. So I'm guessing you do test positive for every STD. Um, not every single one. That's such an exaggeration. Let me see that. My worth is defined by the amount of bodies. She's not wrong. My body is like really important to me, so. Okay, that's enough. Let's just go. No, don't you want to find your page? Not really. I can only imagine the horrible things she said about me. Oh my God, the principal is in here. 
Oh my god, the principal is in here. Oh, Prince Washman? He is really hot. Maybe that's where I got chlamydia. Eight inches, but pencil thin. I can attest to that. I'm so tall. Oh my god, what a savage. She literally put her mom in here. She does have a nice boob job, though. Damn, not her calling her mom a gold digging whore. She is. She's only sleeping with my dad for money. Oh, look, it's Gerald. I'm not surprised he's in here. <laughs> he's gonna die never having seen boobs. <laughs> Ruined men for me. Same. He does hurt to look at. You know, she's not wrong. Oh my god, no way. What? I finally found your page. Okay, well, what does it say? It's so much worse than we thought. What? Please show me. No, I don't think you can handle this. I don't think I can handle this. Zoe, this isn't funny anymore. Show me. Give me that. She's obsessed with me. This is definitely not on my list of things I expected to see in 2023. This is terrifying. Wait, what? This picture is when we were in the closet together making out. Casey wasn't even in there. Oh my god. How the hell did she get that photo of you? I don't know, but I'm scared. I didn't take it. Did I? This is so beyond creepy. I'm scared. You know what? I don't care if Katie had you first. You're mine now. Zoe, it wasn't even serious. We never even kissed. Hey, no sex in my bedroom. It's just me. And JJ. What are you guys doing? Quick. What the hell are you guys doing? Kissing. Yeah, real funny. Get the frick out of my room. Wait, what? Did you break your arm too? Yeah. How? I don't know. It happened off camera. Okay, get out. <gasps> okay. Hey, JJ. I love you, baby. I'm so excited to be your girlfriend. Why do you even like me? What? Are you even gay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just really don't think you like me for me. What would make you think that? Because you hated me and bullied me and invited me to your sleepover just to laugh at me. Then, I hit you over the head with a frying pan and you forgot who I was! Wait, what? And honestly, I always had a crush on you because you were mean to me and for some reason, I'm attracted to that. I know, that's really toxic! Uh, wait, hold on, go back to the frying pan? So, when you woke up and asked me who I was, I said I was your girlfriend. And now I'm in a relationship I don't even know if I really want to be in. Well, that hurts. And this other really, really, really hot girl has the biggest crush on me, and she's not mean. No, she's really nice. Wh who? That, there's nobody at the school hotter than me. And she likes me for me. Uh, I'm, I'm literally the hottest. You don't like me for me. I did a poll on my Instagram, and everybody voted me. What do you mean? You like me because I told you you liked me. I'm, I'm nice. And I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, what frying pan you're talking about, but I know my love for you is real, JJ. No, it's not. It's literally the fakest thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> so are you breaking up with me? No, I don't know. <laughs> I just really want you to think about why you even like me. Well, I, I can tell you, okay? I, I love that being with you makes the boys jealous. I love that you buy me coffee every morning. Yeah, my mom's not very really happy about that. I I love that you're really smart because you do all my homework for me and there's literally no way I'd be passing any of my classes if it wasn't for you. Um, I, I love that we're the only lesbian couple in this school because everybody pays attention to us and it makes me even more popular than I already was. Hey, JJ. Uh, oh, sorry. It's, is this your girlfriend? Yeah, I am. Who are you? Uh, nobody. She's my twin. I, um... Oh. Uh... Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is happening. Yeah. Well, listen, friend. JJ is in love with me, and we're gonna get married. No, we're not. Okay. 
Yeah, um, yeah, no. And if you don't fuck off right right now and stop trying to steal my girl, yeah, I will make the rest of your years here a living hell. Do you understand? Um, uh, yeah, I promise I sound too. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go throw up. No, Emma, wait! That's the girl you think is hotter than me? Look what you've done! Her boobs are the size of cantaloupes. Actually, I like them. I like that they bounce up and down, and you're just saying that because you're flat chested. <laughs> Fuck you. We're done. <laughs> no, you don't break up with me. Yes, I do. Watch me walk away. I'm the most popular girl in this fucking school. Language. Fuck off, Mrs. Beverly. I will end your life and tell the entire school you're having an affair with the PE teacher and you don't mind fucking business. I'm sorry my dad wouldn't let us hang out at my house. No problem. We can hang out here. Why are you whispering? Don't you think if I'm whispering, you should be too? Good point. Why are we whispering? There's a few things I should brief you on. Okay, should I take notes? No, that's okay, just try to remember. Um, I have the memory of a squirrel, so I'm gonna take notes if that's okay. I mean, I appreciate the effort. Okay, first, I did not tell my parents you were coming over. Let's keep it that way. Pretend I'm not here. If you do find out, my dad is pretty homophobic, so just prepare yourself. I'm not gay. So you just asked me to be a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's so exciting. I usually don't do relationships. Good for me. If my dad does find out you're here, you're just my friend. Pretend we're friends. Okay. Okay, lastly, my parents hate each other and are in the process of getting a divorce. So, if you hear blood curling screams or furniture breaking, that's just another day in the Johnson household. Blood curling screams and furniture breaking this is normal okay that's about it okay let's quietly sneak to my bedroom okay i'll take my heels off so i don't make noise yeah good idea <coughs> College football. College football. Super football Saturday. JJ, is that you? Super football Saturday. JJ, is that you? Hey, Dad. Yep, just me and nobody else, like usual, because I have no friends. Obviously. What are you doing? Are you just getting home from school? Yes. I stayed late to tutor the dumb kids for extra credits. Why couldn't I have a cool kid? Okay, well, I'm gonna go to my room. I have a really big test tomorrow and I have to study like the non-cool kids do. Come on over here for a minute. I really, I really should be going. You got someone waiting for you in your room? No. That was a rhetorical question. I know you have no friends. Come sit. But come spend some quality time with your father before I grow old and die. Okay. What did you want to talk to me about? Okay. I know that this might be difficult to hear, but I think it's time that we tell you the truth. Okay. I know that this might be difficult to hear, but I think it's time that we tell you the truth. Okay. Me and your mother are getting a divorce. I know. How'd you, how'd you know? You've been sleeping on the couch every single night and you cheated on her multiple times. Oh, okay. Well, that was easier than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna go to my room now. Good night. Study hard. Joey. Joey. Joey, where are you? You don't have to hide. Where the heck is she? Joey. What are you doing in here? I told you we were going to my bedroom. I didn't know which door your bedroom was. Oh, good point. Why did you let me lead the way and then ditch me? I'm sorry, my dad woke up and started talking to me about their divorce. I was so scared and lost. I'm so sorry.
I should have known that your small little brain couldn't have figured that out for yourself. Come on, let's actually go to my room now. Thank God. So, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't know. Happy we're finally alone and have some privacy. Me too. I've been fantasizing about this every night. <sighs> That's so hot. Mm. Mm. Oh shit. Go, go. Hey. Mio? What are you doing home from college? Winter break. What were you doing? Nothing. What were you doing? Nothing. Were you touching yourself? What? No! JJ, if you're gonna touch yourself, you should really lock your door. I wasn't touching myself! And you should really knock before you come into someone's room. Well, if someone's touching themselves, they usually lock the door. I wasn't touching myself! Okay, good, because I want to hang out. Since when do you want to hang out with me? You don't like me. JJ, I love you. You're my little sister. Wow. College has really changed you. Yeah, it really has. I realized recently that I need to start appreciating the people close to me. I'm a much nicer person now. Well, I'm not. Get out of my womb. JJ, I haven't seen you in months. So? Can you leave? No, not unless you give me one good reason. I was... I was touching myself. Oh, oh God. Ew. Please lock the door. Noted. Bye. Sorry. Were you actually like... No. I just said that so she'd leave. Oh, that's a shame. I was going to offer to step in. Oh. I should probably get up now. Do you want to? Yes. But I'm not ready. Oh, right. It would be your first time. Yeah. That's okay. We can wait until you're ready. Thanks. Zoe, I'm not going to be white today. Oh, okay. Um... What do you want to do? Want to hard watch our relationship on Instagram? Oh my god, should we? Literally nobody knows yet except us. Casey is going to kill us. Weren't your parents too? I thought they were homophobic. Just my dad is, but I have my whole family blocked. What about your dad? Also homophobic and also blocked. Swag. Okay then, Casey. She's going to find out sooner or later. Hell's going to freeze over. Better get out coached then. Fuck it, let's do it. Okay, let's take a couple of selfie. What should we caption it? Hmm. Um. Oh, how about my elastic won't be the only thing pulling my hair anymore? Wow, we're really going for it, huh? You're actually gonna do it. Quick it. Go hard or go home, White. I definitely won't be going home then. Okay, Zoe's elastic won't be the only thing pulling her hair anymore. Post. Done. Okay, open the floodgates. I'm scared. I can't look right now. I just want to enjoy my night with you. I'm going to turn it off. Want to watch a movie and snuggle? I'd love to. Crap, I really have to pee. Wait, quiet, Zoe. You can do this. Oh, it's so cold down here. I guess poor people don't have heat. Quiet, Zoe. Nobody can know you're here. Quiet steps. Quiet, Zoe. Nobody can know you're here. JJ? Is that you? What are you doing up so late? Um, I just have to pee. The, the, ba the bathroom's not this way. Oh, wait, I forgot. What? Okay, good night. H hey. Yeah? Um, after your mother and I g get divorced, do you wanna 
Um, do you want to come live with me? Yeah, sure, Dad. Really? Um, yes. That's that's great. Shit. Oh, by the way, after your mother and I g get divorced, do you wanna do you wanna come live with me? Yeah, sure, Dad. Really? Um, yes. That's that's great. Shit. Oh, by the way, um, I have a boy that I want to introduce you to. I know you think you're gay, but that's just a phase. Okay, sure. I I love boys. Look, that was easy. Okay, you can meet him tomorrow. Oh, okay. Good night. Bathroom's the other way. Right. I mean, what? Hey. Where did you go? Bathroom. Did you wake my dad up? Yes. Good news and bad news. And, and badder news. What's the good news? He totally thought that I was you. What's the bad news? You're going on a date with a boy tomorrow. What? What's the badder news? Um, I agreed to living with him after the divorce. Awesome. I'm going back to sleep. Snuggle me and be cute so I can forget how dumb you are. Okay. Now it is very important that this date goes well. Why? Because you need to convert. To Christianity? No, to heterosexuality. Uh, why is it okay for you to cheat on mom and sleep with multiple women at the same time, but it's not okay for me to love one singular woman? Because men get to do whatever they want. This is how the world runs. Get used to it. And what if the date doesn't go well? Camp. Oh, wait, that sounds pretty fun. Like, with swimming and quaffs and stuff? Conversion camp. All summer long. If I can't convert you, they can. But it's very expensive, and I don't want to pay for it. But sometimes they have scholarship programs if I can prove that you're an above and beyond homo. You'd probably get it. I don't want to go to conversion camp. Then this date better go well. How do you even know this boy? Um, he's one of my, my friend's kids. I don't know much about him, but he's a boy, and that'll do for me. My friend? You mean Jimbo? Are you sure he's not your kid, too? Yes. I'm like 60% sure. So potentially dating my biological brother and cheating on people is still better than me being gay. Hmm, got it. Makes a lot of sense. That is enough of your attitude. I'll pick you up in a few hours. Act straight. Are you sure he's not your kid too? Yes. I'm like 60% sure. So potentially dating my biological brother and cheating on people is still better than me being gay. Hmm, got it. Makes a lot of sense. That is enough of your attitude. I'll pick you up in a few hours. Act straight. Wow, your dad is actually worse than mine. Mm -hmm. Zoe, I can't do this. I'm a waging lesbian. I don't even know how to go on a date with a boy, never mind pretend I'm actually into them. Maybe you've got this. I've been on so many dates with boys. I'm gonna be a couple booths down and I'm gonna be in your ear the whole time telling you what to say. You're gonna be fine. Okay, maybe I'll get lucky and he won't show up. How long have we been waiting? Hello? Zoe? Hello? Can you hear me? JJ? Oh my god, hi! I didn't realize I called you. What? I'm in a restaurant. I, I know, I'm right behind you. Oh my god, hi! Did you forget about the plan? Did you forget about the plan? The plan? The plan. Plan. Plan? Oh my god. Plan B? Was I supposed to take it? Oh my god, has it been more than 72 hours? No, Zoe. Remember, my dad is making me go on a date with a boy and you're supposed to help me. Oh, yeah. I was wondering why I was sitting here alone. I don't do that. I'm not a loser. I ate lunch every day alone before I had friends. And that's so good for the mind and soul. Incoming. I think this is him. Stay focused. I need you. Hello. You must be JJ. It's a pleasure to meet you. You are much more gorgeous than I anticipated. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You must have the wrong girl. Trust. I apologize for the bother. Maybe you're looking for that girl down there. She's sitting alone and looks like she's waiting for someone. All right. Good heavens. That is a bit of a downgrade. I think we look a lot alike, actually. Not even a little bit. You are much more attractive. But girls don't typically want to date me, so I will accept what I can. You are much more attractive. But girls don't typically want to date me, so I will accept what I can. Okay, bye. Hey, warning, this guy is a total douche, but like also such a loser. Very weird combination. Oh, great. Hello, you must be JJ. It is a pleasure to meet you. You are very average looking. Thanks. 
Are you going to ask me my name or do you not care? Ask your name. Okay. What's your name? Ebenezer Muriel Malarkey. But you can call me by my first name. Ebenezer. Yeah, that's so much better. Tell him you like his name. I like your name. Thank you. Would you like to hear the origin of it? No. Yes, you do. I mean, no way I don't. Wonderful. So my last name, of course, was passed down many generations from my Irish ancestors. According to the Oxford Dictionary, it also means meaningless or nonsense. But that definition does not accurately depict my character. So my last name, of course, was passed down many generations from my Irish ancestors. According to the Oxford Dictionary, it also means meaningless or nonsense. But that definition does not accurately depict my character. Are you sure? Be nicer. I know he's a loser, but just tap into your acting skills, JJ. I mean, are you sure? I, I can't imagine someone as splendid as you could have a name with such a negative... Definition. Thank you. I don't let it define me. As for my middle name, Muriel, I was named after my great aunt, Muriel, who served our country. She was in the military? No, she was a traveling lunch lady. She served our country. Wait, what a lovely lady to be named after. I think so. Seem more interested. Ask him the origin of his first name. So what about Ebenezer? With such a bold name like that, it must have an interesting origin story. No, my parents just liked the name. I can't imagine why. <clears throat> not. I, I can't imagine why not. Nor can I. Ask him the origin of his first name. So what, what about Ebenezer? With such a bold name like that, it must have an interesting origin story. No, my parents just liked the name. I can't imagine why. <clears throat> not. I, I can't imagine why not. Nor can I. Shall we investigate the menu? Wow, he's really not going to ask you about your name? Uh, I hate boys. Tell him about your name anyway. Do you want to hear the origin of my name? It would be impolite if I said no. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that as a guess. So, um, my name is JJ Johnson. And, um, JJ actually stands for Johnson and Johnson, the family company, and, um, one of the creators of the COVID vaccine. So, um, my full name is Johnson and Johnson Johnson. That's a dreadfully terrible name. Thanks. My parents aren't very creative. I would like to supply my body of some nourishment now. I would like to supply my body of some nourishment now. Okay. Okay, now let him order for you. It makes them feel manly. Can you order for me? Oh, certainly. I apologize. I did not acquire that you were incapable of reading. I can read. I am befuddled why you would desire me to order for you then. Um... Chivalry. Chivalry. I am a feminist. God damn, I'm gonna be helpless here. Please do your best, I am so lost. Fear not, I will do my best. Huh? I will order you something that I suspect would be adequate. Okay. What do you like to do for fun? What do you like to do for fun? Well... Yeah, this girl's been talking to herself for like 30 minutes. That sounds awful. I think she's schizophrenic. Okay, where do you go to school? She, like, really believes someone's in the booth across from her. Oh, I hate that school. My ex goes there. Yeah, the customers are starting to get worried. All right, I'll, I'll go talk to her. Hello, miss. Can I get you anything? No! Oh, sorry. Yeah, the customers are starting to get worried. What do you like to do for fun? All right, I'll, I'll go talk to her. Hello, miss. Can I get you anything? No! Oh, sorry. You're ordering me a house salad with no dressing? It appears to me that you are trying to lose weight. No. My mistake. A house salad with no dressing? Okay, one house salad with no dressing. What? No! No! No, no what? You want a double cheeseburger. I want a double cheeseburger. Um, uh, no, I don't want a double cheeseburger, but I'll get you a double cheeseburger. I don't want a double cheeseburger. I, I don't want a double cheeseburger. Okay, what do you want? What do I want? What do I want? I believe that is what we are trying to figure out. What do you want? Sorry, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I had a feeling. What? Do you, do you see someone there? What? You're talking to a friend, aren't you? Yeah, how did, how did you know? My mother had schizophrenia. I'm sorry to hear that, but what does that have to do with me? You're talking to a friend, aren't you? Yeah, how did, how did you know? My mother had schizophrenia. 
I'm sorry to hear that, but what does that have to do with me? Oh, honey, we need to get you some help. With what? Just come with me. I'm going to help you. No, I can't leave my friend. Honey, your friend isn't real. It's okay. You can leave them. My friend is real. She's sitting right there. Sweetheart, nobody can see her except you. Come on. Are you enjoying your meal? Joey, am I enjoying my meal? Sorry, are you there? What, what was the question? Are you enjoying your meal? Um, no. Drought, I apologize. Would you like something else? I mean, no, I like it. It's, it's good. Splendid. Oh, I believe your father is arriving to pick you up in just a few moments. It's good. Splendid. Oh, I believe your father is arriving to pick you up in just a few moments. How do you know that? He arranged this date, after all. Boy, I just, I didn't realize you two were so close. Are we all set over here? Indeed. Um, excuse me? Um, what happened to the girl that was in that table over there? Poor thing was yelling to herself all evening. I'm very familiar with schizophrenia, don't worry. I took her to get some help. What? Okay, so will that be one check or two? One. Two. I believe in building up and encouraging young women to be strong and financially independent. I would prefer if you paid for your own meal. I guess two. Right. So, um, are you going to tell my dad that this gate went well? I suppose it was splendid. I would take great pleasure in seeing you once again. Perhaps next time we can try fornication. Thanks for getting me out of the mental hospital. People started hitting on me. I just had to clarify that you're not schizophrenic. Lots of other problems that probably do want to visit, but not schizophrenia. I love that you're so honest. Are you nervous? A little. Wait, about what? It's our first day back to school after hard launching our relationship on Instagram. Suddenly the hospital isn't sounding so bad. Thanks a lot. I just mean that we're going to have to deal with the wrath of Casey. Knowing that she's literally been in love with you. And now I'm dating you and I'm her best friend. Or was probably. Casey doesn't own me. Yeah, because I do. N no. Where did you get that? Not into that. Got it. Get some force wings and maybe we'll talk. That's a new one. But I'll try anything. Literally, I've slept with almost everyone at this school. But I'll try anything. Literally, I've slept with almost everyone at this school. <laughs> Except the teachers. No. Now that we're in a relationship, I think we should just keep our past private. Okay. Um, let's also make a visit to the clinic soon. Why? I don't need birth control now. Unless... No, 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 I don't. I meant, I meant to get you some blood testing and swapped. Oh, my chlamydia cleared up. It, it's good now. What now? They're coming. Seemed like I said something funny. say is funny. God, you are impossible. Come here. Ah! <laughs> Nothing you say is funny. God, you are impossible. Come here. Oh. Oh. Do it again. It's getting crazy over here. Yeah, me and Taylor were making out. I don't know if you saw. I did. I, I also saw her slap you. Yeah. We like it rough. I'm into that. Literally never do that again. That was disgusting. Yeah, she also likes to degrade me. Make me feel bad. It's hot. No, it's not. Nothing about that was hot. See? She's really good at it. Me and JJ are dating. Yeah, I saw. You told Instagram. Before you told your best friend. 
who you've known since you were two. We pooped in our diapers together. Me and JJ are dating. Yeah, I saw. You told Instagram before you told your best friend who you've known since you were two. Well, technically she told me first. We pooped in our diapers together. I pulled Skittles out of your cooch when you took Taste the Rainbow a little too seriously. I can't see I'm surprised. I don't know. I just thought maybe, you know, Zoe, the emotionally unavailable whore, actually liking someone enough to want to date them might be something worth telling your best friend. But I guess not. That's just the way it is these days. Nothing makes sense in the world anymore. JJ was the nerdiest girl in school and is now one of the most popular and dating someone that has never even liked anyone long enough to even have sex with them for a second time. And I, the hottest, coolest girl in school, can't even get the nerd to like me. And Mrs. Axman and the janitor are getting more action than me. Nothing is right in the world. I thought she was just gonna be really mean about it. She's crying. I didn't think that was possible. I've literally never seen her cry. She didn't even cry when her dad left to go get milk and never came back. Or when her mom got her all excited that she was gonna have a little sister and then hoarded it. Hey, hey. What do we do? Not part of it. How? JJ, kiss her. No. I don't want JJ to kiss me. I don't want sympathy sex. No one said anything about sex. JJ, kiss her. No. I don't want JJ to kiss me. I don't want sympathy sex. No one said anything about sex. No, she's still a virgin, and that's gonna happen with me. Okay, I probably deserve that. Go ahead, tell me how you really feel. Yeah, okay, um, I'm sorry to see spots. Can we take a second? Casey, I know you have a huge crush on me, but against all odds, for some reason, I, I like Joey. Ew. You wish. What? As if I'd ever date you. There she is. How pathetic is it that you have to make up that I like you? Knowing that I'd never go for you, so you have to settle for the uglier and dumber version of me. I feel like I'm being that close. Welcome back. Come on, Taylor, my beautiful girlfriend. Walk me to class. Now. Taylor! I'm literally only going along with this because I don't want to be a bystander to whatever lesbian stuff is about to happen, so. You don't have to be a bystander. <laughs> Coming, darling. Come on, I'll walk you to class. Okay, are we ready to start? Um, wait, actually, we're waiting on one more. Elise, tell me you did not like invite Gerald. Hey, I'm right here. Oh. I didn't invite you. How did you find my house? It's in the school directory. Well, I was invited. This time. You're my best friend. I kind of didn't have a choice. I thought I was your best friend. I love how I have to sit on the floor, but I was part of this friend group first. So, who's the one we're waiting on? Nova. Oh, shit. Oh, is she, like, mentally sane again? Yeah. She's, like, doing great, I guess. And she's going back to school after break. I don't know, Nova. What happened to her? Emma cheated on her, and she had a mental breakdown. Oh. Oh my god, don't like just look at me. I cheated on her with Brody. Oh my god, why is it always like the girl that's the slut? It wasn't even that good. It didn't even count it. So everyone has slept with Brody? Yeah. Oh my. Emma, I think you're more to blame because you were the one in the relationship with Nova. I didn't like mean to cheat. Oh, that must be Nova. Hey everyone, I missed you guys. Hello. I'm British. Well, actually, I don't know like half of you. And I... Hey, Emma now, so. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, welcome, you can sit wherever. Okay. Nova, you look great. Thank you. Yeah, all I needed was a grippy sock vacation to cure me. Okay, well, let's get this party started. Like, Jake. What? What? The singer. No, I don't. Nova, since you haven't gotten to do anything fun in a really long time, why don't you go first? My grippy sock vacation was pretty fun, but okay. I wouldn't know, but grab the gift that says Nova.
What the hell is this for? To draw on your face because you're emo. Why would I put permanent marker on my face? Is that not what you use? Are you stupid? Brody, you just gave yourself away. You're supposed to let her try to guess who it's from. Nobody told me the rules. Okay, let's just move on. My grippy socks. This is the best gift I could have gotten. I go through a lot of this. That's disgusting. Guess who your secret Santa was? Was it, JJ? No, why on earth would you think I would get you queen? It's because of that time in science class. We had that moment with the cream. Uh, no, it wasn't like that. You just rubbed some cream on my hand. I wasn't your secret Santa. Move on. Hmm. <laughs> Gerald, did you buy me a big bottle of cream? You got it from your secret Santa. Gerald? How did you have a secret Santa for the party if you weren't even invited? So you just bought me cream for fun? Um, yeah, I knew you would use it. Girl, you are so weird. Please leave my house. No, please. Please let me at least open my gift first. Nobody got you a gift because you weren't part of the secret Santa. Nobody got me a gift. Gerald, get out of my house. Okay. Wait, so do I have another gift? Oh, yep, it's right here. Okay, I totally thought that was going to be, like, so funny, but that just made it so awkward. Don't worry, I'll use both. Emma, um, you've been really quiet. Are you okay? Or is it just really awkward to be right next to someone you cheated on? <laughs> okay, I'm bored. I want it to be my turn. Oh, I'll look for yours for you. Okay. Um, I don't see it. Huh. I'm not seeing it either. Um, does anybody see my gifts? Did nobody have me for their secret Santa? Okay, I'm like a little confused. So like, I got you like a secret Santa. You picked my name? Yeah, and I got you like a secret Santa. But now I'm starting to think that like I did it wrong. What do you mean you got me a secret Santa? Emma, who the hell is at the door? your secret Santa. What do you mean you got me a secret Santa? Emma, who the hell is at the door? your secret Santa. Ho, ho, ho! Santa's here. Who is this random man in my house? And so I think I like misunderstood the concept of this game. Do you think? I was like under the impression that we were supposed to find like a real Santa. What did you think the secret part meant? Um, that their identity is, like, a secret. So you don't even know this man? Um, no, that's, like, the secret part, like I said. How did you find him? I, like, saw a post on Craigslist. So let me get this straight. You went on Craigslist and hired this random stranger to dress up in a Santa suit and gave him my personal home address to come to a party with a bunch of minors. Well, when you say it like that, it doesn't really sound so good. He's just standing there staring at us. I think the rules of this game need to be, like, more clear. That's what I'm saying. Um, sir, I think you should leave. Are you sure? I, I was paid in advance, so... I mean, if you already paid for him, you might as well stay. I don't think that's a very good idea. Honestly, I think he should stay. He wasn't, like, cheap. You guys haven't even sat on my lap yet. No, sir, we will not be doing that. No, dude, that's my job. Then how are you gonna tell Santa what you want for Christmas? Guys, what the hell do we do? Do you want me to be with us? Honestly, Zoe, I think for your benefit, you should just be nice to this guy because he knows where you live. And worse than that, he's already in your house. Shit. All right, Santa, you can stay. Wh what? Ho, ho, hell yeah. I promise I'm gonna make your party so much more fun. All you have to do is just sit there and look pretty. Sounds like an easy job to me. Where should I sit? You see that big boob blonde right there? Yeah, she loves Santa Claus. You should sit right next to her. Okay. <sighs> I do love big boobed blondes. I'm sure you do. I love Carmen. Okay, Casey, why don't you go next? Okay. No, no, there's a Santa's job. Let me get it for you. Ho, ho, here you go. Merry Christmas. Do you have something for Santa in return? Sorry, Santa. I'm a lesbian. Ho, ho, hot! Santa didn't know you was at a party with a bunch of lesbians. Okay, Casey, open your gift. I'm a dude. Oh, this is so cute. I don't even have to guess. I know exactly who this is from. Thank you, Secret Santa. You're welcome, Casey. 
You've been a very good girl this year. Will you shut up? Do not speak to Santa like that or I will put you on the naughty list. I bet you're already on the naughty list. Okay, I think it's like my turn. Are you like not gonna get it from me, Santa? Naughty girls don't get spoiled by Santa. Okay, like whatever. Is this like some kind of sick joke? Okay, well, who do you think your secret Santa is? I'm um, not like Taylor, because she's a bitch. You're right, and you're right. I don't like stuff in my bra. I don't. Well, there's only one way to find out. And then I guess like we'll never know. Yeah. My turn. And before you even try, I don't need any man to do anything for me. I think my secret Santa is Zoe. You're so right. What is it? I don't think they want you to ho ho no. What is it? It's a gift card to Home Depot. Santa knows when you're sleeping. And he knows when you're awake. And he also knows when you're lying. I'm not lying. I love Home Depot. She is a Home Depot lesbian. That does make sense. Hey, Taylor, your turn. <sighs> Santa, make yourself useful. Santa loves to make himself useful. And he would love to make himself useful for you. Just give me my gift. What the hell is this? Who gave me this toy? A toy? Santa loves toys. Take it out of the bag. Santa wants to see it. The only reason I would take it out of the bag is to shove it up. Hey! Okay, okay. I was your secret Santa. I'm sorry. I thought it was a good gift. Why? I thought if you could relax yourself, you might not be so mean all the time. My dad says that mean people are usually just people that need to get laid. This is the best night ever. Taylor, cut it out. JJ was just trying to be nice. Since when are you JJ's bodyguard? Uh, yes, Zoe, since when are you her bodyguard? <laughs> How did you get there? Santa Claus is magic. I can teleport. Santa sends danger, so we came here to protect. I don't need protection. Because you're a lesbian? Carlos, thanks, man. These are dope. How did you know it was me? Come on, bro. These girls don't know what Trojan is. They're either gay or a whore. Okay. Um, where did Santa go? Dude! Oh no. Mom, what are you doing? Hot red handed. Mrs. Smith, why are you at my house? Do you just like magically appear wherever there's an opportunity for sex? It's my special talent. Um, I literally like found this guy on Craigslist. Honey, that's where most of my men come from anyway. You found my dad on Craigslist? Okay, the party's over. Santa, you need to leave now. Yeah, gladly. I, I got paid to be here and I got to smash his hot milk. So I'd say tonight was a success. <sighs> Hi, sorry I'm late. Um, a girl named Emma Whitlock hired me to be here. Emma, you hired too? No. Brody is literally so hot. Oh, I think you just gave me a concussion. What is going on over here? We were just fighting about who we saw coming out of the janitor's closet this morning with Mr. Higginbottom. Zoe thinks it was Mrs. Mabubi, but I could have sworn it was you. I didn't see anything. Good, neither did I. My head really hurts. <gasps> Bitch, what the fuck? I have a deviated septum and you're deviating it more. Brody's my ex-boyfriend, you skank. Oh my God, can you guys stop? You've had like 26 ex-boyfriends. If you don't want one of them, why can't I have one? You're both idiots. Yeah, probably because Taylor just gave me a concussion. No, I don't think that's why. Sorry, we can't all be gay, Casey. It's really not that much better. Unless you're me, because I get anyone I want. Ow. Oh, man. I forgot my locker coat again. She's gonna be so mad at me. Is that girl new? What do you want, JJ? I'm at work. Mom, did you wipe my locker coat down anywhere? I forgot it again. <laughs> I've never seen her before. But she's prettier than you, Zoe. Might have to replace you as my best friend. Especially with that crooked nose. <laughs> No, I didn't, JJ. It's not my responsibility to keep track of your locker code. You need to learn to be independent and start to take care of yourself because I'm not going to be able to do it forever. Is this about Brody? Because I won't talk to him again. Again? 
I deserve that one. You need to go to the front desk and tell them that you forgot oh, your locker hmm, combination like a big know. girl. And no, it's not about him. I just have a reputation to uphold. I can only be friends with nines, no eights or tens, because I have to be the prettiest, but I also can't be seen with ugly people. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wait, I am at work trying to put a roof over our head and I don't need calls from my daughter who doesn't know how to do anything for herself. Whatever. Casey, do you know her? Hang on. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm writing the answers to my science test on my hand. <gasps> You're so smart, Casey. Can't you? So fucking annoying. Shit. I ran out of room. Give me your hand. <gasps> I'm gonna be fucking late for class again. Bitch, I have a blood condition. The ink is going to like seep into my blood and make my condition worse. This will be fine. Do you know that girl or what? Who? <sighs> There's no way. What? That's JJ freaking Johnson. The geeky horse girl? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be late for class. You're high. Yeah, but I can still see. You guys got high without me? No, you were with us. Maybe I do have a concussion. No, you're just stupid. JJ. Come here. Me? Yes, you, dingbat. See? Told you. Wow. Uh, hey, Casey. What's up? And by what's up, I mean, why are you talking to me? Wow. She's rude, too. I like her. You look different in a good way. We like your new look. Oh, um, I just didn't have time to wave my hair this morning. Well, you don't look ugly anymore. What Zoe is trying to say is that you shouldn't braid your hair anymore. It makes you look like a dork. Really? It, it, it kind of like who I am, though. Oh, honey, nobody likes who you are. My mom does. And, and my dad does sometimes. Don't wear the braids again, okay? Okay. You're sitting with us at lunch today, so cancel your other plans. Okay. Well, I mean, I didn't really have other plans. I usually just eat alone in the bathroom. Do not ever repeat that. See you at lunch. Okay. Bye. Wow. They're so cool. Oh, there she is. JJ! Hey guys! Sit. Okay. It's so nice to have people to sit with for lunch. What is that? My lunch? Ew. JJ, it's okay to be poor, but we just don't want to flaunt it. My dad packed me that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, first rule of being popular, we don't bring lunch from home. We buy it. Okay, I can do that. I just I just don't have any money on me. Here, you can borrow my dad's credit card. I I don't think I can. <laughs> yes, you can. You won't notice the charges. Trust me. You really won't. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't, I don't think the lunch ladies accept credit. Ew, no, I didn't mean to buy lunch here. We get DoorDash delivered. Here, order whatever you want. You're allowed to get food delivered here? Yeah, of course. Principal Asman is like totally our girl. She lets us do whatever we want. Plus, she really likes DoorDash. Oh, there she is! Hey, Jesse! Jesse? You're on a first name basis with the principal? Yeah! Hey, girls! Hey, Jesse! JJ? What are you doing with popular girls? You're not popular. Um. We love JJ. She's one of us now. Eh. I am? Wait, you already know JJ? Well, yeah, I still am the principal. I have to know all my students. Really? Who's that? Um, that's... M I think I am a scientist in fiction again. Ma mm. Mark. That's Gerald. I've like, never seen that boy in my life. Yeah, I have no clue, to be honest. I don't actually do my job. I only remember JJ because I used to sleep with her dad. <gasps> Stop. What? Is he cute? Eh, not really, but... Not too bad in bed. Ew, la la la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. No, 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 I don't want to hear about my dad in bed. That's really disgusting. Ew, la, I don't want to hear this either. La 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 la. No, no, I don't want to know this. La 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 la. I feel like we're supposed to be doing something right now. I'm traumatized. Oh shit, I'm late for a meeting with the superintendent. I'm gonna get fired. Just give him some please don't fire me head. <laughs> that always works for me. Girl, how do you think I got this job? All right, I'll see you guys later. Is that what I'm gonna have to do to get a job? <laughs> I like her, she's funny. <laughs> so, JJ, what's your body count? I've never hurt anyone. <laughs> I never, I would never. I like her, she's funny. <laughs> I wasn't joking. So you meant how many people have you slept with? Oh, well, that's a weird question. Uh, I have to think. 
Damn, she has to count your better than I thought. Okay, so my friend Cassie once. Nice, that's pretty gay. Um, Emma one time. My aunt Linda. Oh, my cousin Jenny. What? Mm, my oldest sister Mia. What is wrong with you? My mom. You're disgusting. What? What? You, you asked me how many people I've slept next to before. You thought we, you thought we meant how many people you physically slept next to. You're a fucking riot, dude. I didn't know you were such a prankster. <laughs> what the fuck did they mean? Just smile and nod. So who are you going to prom with? Prom? I'm a freshman. So? You all go to prom. With who? I don't know, like any of the creepy seniors that want to bring a younger girl? Well, who are you going with? Brody. Brody. Brody asked you? Yeah, he asked you too. No, but he doesn't have to. We're a thing. He knows we're going together. I don't think he does. Maybe it's because you're a thing with a lot of boys. <gasps> you freaking bitch. I just got my eyelashes done. Oh, boo hoo. Go cry to Brody about it. The only time I cry to him is of happy tears from our sex being so good. You slept with my Brody? Yeah, and he has some freaking amazing moves. I gave him those moves. Yeah, well, you also gave him chlamydia. Chlamydia is not a big deal. It goes away with antibiotics. You would know. Oh, you're a freaking big Zoe. <laughs> so they're best friends. Yeah, that's how they show their love. It seems kind of toxic. Aren't all the best relationships? No. Stupid. <laughs> fucking, fucking hate you. Hey, remember that time we dated for like a week and then I dumped you? Shut up. Nobody knows that, and it's gonna stay that way. To this day, I still don't understand what I was thinking. It's cause I got that concussion and couldn't remember anything or think straight. Like, literally, I was straight before that. And then boom, head injury, and I'm suddenly gay and dating you. I don't think so. Maybe someone hit you over the head with a flying pan. What? Do you know something? No, I don't, I don't think so. Girls? Let go of me! Oh, no! Hey, <laughs> John. Mom? You're home? Am I home? Bobby? Wh whose house are we at? Oh, is it not familiar to you? It's probably because you're never here. Now listen, young lady. I had you very young, and I didn't get to have fun because I was raising you. Now, you're old enough to take care of yourself, and I want to go out and get laid, okay? Your father was a deadbeat and couldn't last longer than two minutes. I have never known satisfaction and happiness in all of my adult years until now, okay? Why does it have to be my dad? I have never known satisfaction and happiness in all of my adult years until now, okay? Why does it have to be my dad? Oh, he's just one of many, honey. Does he know that? No, but when you care about someone, you don't tell them things that are gonna hurt them, okay? I don't think that's great advice. Well, you know what? You don't get out much. That's true. Why am I even your friend? <laughs> what are they doing? Arguing over a boy. Girl, knock it off. Life is too damn short to be fighting over boys, okay? I can hate you. Uh, let go of my hair! You stupid bitch! There's plenty of him to go around. Didn't your mother teach you that Sharon is caring? I don't want to share Taylor's chlamydia. <sighs> yeah, no, don't share the chlamydia. Never mind. They'll figure it out. Okay, bye. You can leave now. Uh, wait a minute, young lady. I was coming to see if you want anything at the store. I'm going to run some errands. What store? Lick. Uh-uh. <laughs> Licka licka. Oh, do you like sad? It sips better. I'm good. I have enough for the weekend. What? Okay. You need any condoms or anything else? No. Still gay. Yeah, I still don't know how that happens. Zoe, Taylor, yeah, you need any condoms? Yeah, give me the biggest box you can find. I have a long weekend planned. You freaking bitch, Zoe. <laughs> okay, um, what, what size condom? Pick <laughs> Zoe. The biggest ones. Brody's not even that big. Maybe you just never got him to play hard. What? Okay, you girls are giving me headaches. Now I remember why I have to perform with you. Let go of me! What? Stop it! What? You said you stupid. Oh my god, Zoe Taylor, knock it off! Apologize and make up. We have more important shit to do. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. That Brody likes me better. What? I said I'm sorry. I like you so much better. Okay, so prom is in a week. 
Taylor, can you please just let Zoe go with him? Why can't you go with your boyfriend? <sighs> Fine. She has a boyfriend. Okay, I need help deciding who I'm gonna go to prom with. This is very important. How many people have asked you? Three? Damn. I really value all of your opinions. Except JJ, she's still learning. Fair enough. I'm just happy to be here. Okay, I've made a very important PowerPoint to go over the pros and cons of each candidate. Please pay attention. This is so extra. Do we get popcorn? Okay, first candidate. That wasn't a rhetorical question. Rose. She kind of looks like me. No, she doesn't. She's way prettier than you. 17. Ben. She lay. Pros. Super pretty. She is pretty. Captain of the cheerleading team. Super wealthy family. JJ, are you paying attention? Sorry. Has leadership qualities. Probably been bad. That's fair. How do you know that? Next. Okay, the cons. Crystal lesbian. What's a crystal lesbian? Small boobs. I have small boobs. There's nothing wrong with small boobs. Shoes with mouth open and hooked up with Emma Whitlock. Hey, I like Emma. I mean, everyone's hooked up with Emma Whitlock. Candidate number two. Okay, now she looks like me if I put my hair in a bun. Now we have Dylan. Oh my god, stop flattering yourself. 16, switch, she, her. She's also way prettier than you. Pros. So smart that she skipped a few grades. Pretty hot. I have a question. Big booty. Never mind. Plays basketball. It's hot. Definitely equal as much a top as a bottom. I don't understand this lesbian slang. Very important. Again, how would you know that? Next, we have Colin. Do guys do this? Kinda young, not a sugar mama. That's a hard pass. Brody is her brother. Oh my god, that's Brody's sister? Shorter than me. Ew. And drinks cow milk. Should I be taking notes? What's wrong with cow milk? It's a red flag. Next up, and lastly, we have Max. Next up, and lastly, we have... Oh, wait, they're cute. Max. 18, trans mask, they them. They literally Max. look like me, too. It's older. Can call them daddy. I'll call them daddy. Taller than me. I like that. Haven't dated anyone non-binary yet. Skateboards. Hot. <sighs> this is like getting boring. Always smells amazing. Okay, and cons? Have heard that they're a pillow royalty. I see what you did there. Oh, I get it. That's it. That's all the cons. Oh, is there one more candidate? What is this? What's that? No, 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 no. Casey, what is this? No, I really don't. No, no. Is that me? No idea. Okay, what do we think? Are we just gonna ignore what just happened? Taylor, I'm not gay. I don't look at girls like that. So helpful. Thanks, Taylor. I'm so confused. Okay, what do we think? Are we just gonna ignore what just happened? Taylor, I'm not gay. I don't look at girls like that. So helpful. Thanks, Taylor. You're welcome. I'm so confused. Zoe, are you freaking sleeping? Oh, what the hell? You know what? You guys are kind of abusive. And you fell asleep during my presentation. Um, last time I checked, school ended two hours ago. Whatever, who was your favorite? Um, the, the redhead. There was no redhead. I mean, the one that started with the letter, um, D? Dylan? Yep, Dylan, that's the one. Mm, I don't know. Oh, and Brody's her brother. We can have a double date. What am I supposed to do? Hang out with JJ. JJ, what do you think? I don't know, but whatever one you don't want, can I go with? I'm not looking like that. You need a makeover first. They are all way too hot and mature for you. Okay. We need to fix that. Okay, girls. Time for the most difficult task of your life. Are we going to teach the elderly how to use an iPhone? No. <sighs> Thank God. We, and by we, I mean mostly me, are going to turn JJ into one of us. But I like who I am. Well, no one else does. Okay. Casey, this isn't going to work. You can put a dress and some makeup on a nerd, but it's still gonna be a nerd. Stop. I don't need negativity in my creative space, okay? You know, I'm not actually that smart. Not everyone that wears glasses is a genius, you know. Um, but... Everyone shut up. I'm strategizing. This is going to be very difficult, but it can be done. I know it can be done. Let me examine my canvas.
Okay. I know what to do. Well, I'm gonna have to twist you because I can't see anything. Brush. You're in Casey's hands now. You will be beautiful. Yeah, okay. What's wrong? Nothing. This kind of hurts. Got some thick ass hair, girl. <laughs> like a wolf. Ow. Ow. Maybe it's pain, JJ. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> You broke the brush. I didn't do anything. I'm just sitting here having my hair whipped out. What kind of conditioner do you use? Um, a four in one. Absolutely not. Spray bottle, product. Are you ready? What am I, a dog? Wolf. <laughs> Hair curler. Here you go. Oh, what the frick, Zoe? Dumbass, don't hand me the hot side. How am I supposed to know what side is hot? No one's home in there, huh? And where? I rest my case. Well, I'm not resting mine. Ow. Ow. Ow, Casey, my ear. Casey, my ear is burning. Ow. Beauty is heavy. Beauty is heavy. Beauty. Beauty. Tweezers. Uh, God, not even my dog has this much hair on her face. No, no, please. Okay. Makeup. Makeup. I don't know if I have your color. I literally have the same exact skin color as you. I think you're right. Mm hmm. Hmm. You're in luck. Great. Would you look at that? Concealer. What's that for? Imperfections. Might as well just cover her entire face. God, there's a lot. Your skin is atrocious. Punch. What the hell do you use for skincare? Uh, water. Stop flinching. Liner. Do I look pretty? Mascara. <laughs> Can you hold still? <laughs> it's caught in my eye. Okay, let's see my masterpiece. Your Majesty. Zoe is exhausted because only we, and by we, I mean mostly you, can take this. And this. And give you a princess. I was not given easy materials to work with. Yet this is my finest work thus far. I could cry. I took something ugly and made it beautiful. Yeah, that's great and all, but I can't see shit. You took my glasses. You can't wear contacts? Oh, uh, no, I have a wet eye disorder where they just expel out of my eyes when I put them in. So. Of course you do. I guess you can just wear the glasses. Well, yeah, I kind of have to. Here. This is more like it. Still a nerd. Knocked down to a 6 out of 10, but... It'll do, I guess. 6? That's so kind. Okay, girls. I've decided who I'm going to prom with. Rose. Dylan. Max. Yes. Which one? All of them. What? What? I'm confused. Well, I couldn't decide, so I said yes to all of them. Um, Casey, this is not a good idea. Wait, so all four of you are gonna go together? 
No, they don't know I said yes to the others. That was a stupid idea. Your math is not mathing. How long are you going to pull it off? You guys are going to help me. Ooh, this sounds fun. No, I'm not. Um, I don't remember agreeing to that. I volunteered you. When? Just now. Okay. But what about our prom dates? Taylor, someone finally asked you? No. Then what's the problem? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Well, I don't have anyone to go with, so I'll help you, Casey. That's the attitude that I like to see. I'm just happy to be here. Why can't you guys be as obedient as JJ? I'm not a dog. You are her bitch. I guess I am a dog. Well, I'll help, but I'm going with Brody, so... Oh, good. He can help, too. Okay, he'll be so delighted to hear that. I'm so excited. Okay, come close. This is the blueprint of the space. How did you get this, Principal Aspen? She's so cool. I know. Anyway, since I said yes to Rose, Dylan, and Max, they all have to think that I'm only there with them. Fortunately for me, they're all in different cliques, so they will all be sitting at different tables. So I'm going to spend a few minutes with each, and then make an excuse, and then go to the next, etc. Um, can you go back and laugh? This is not the work. You guys are going to help me distract the ones I'm not with so they don't go looking for me. Okay, I'm on. Okay, screw me then, whatever. Okay, now for the fun part. We're each going to have a little earpiece so we can alert each other if one of them is about to cross paths. I literally couldn't think of anything less fun. We're going undercover? This is way too much for my brain to handle. Or if someone's getting a little too suspicious. That's so cool. Is this what the popular kids always do? Kabish. Sounds complicated. When do we get to have fun? This is fun. Right. JJ, this is your official initiation into our group. We matter too. You can help me pull this off. You're in. Casey, okay, so you never care about us. JJ, this is your official initiation into our group. If you can help me pull this off, you're in. Do I get a team jacket? No, we're not a dance team. Okay. We really should consider getting much though. Do you guys want me? JJ, you should never be this excited to be anyone's friend. It's pathetic. Right. Got it. I think it's kind of cute. Well, if you're so in love with JJ, why don't you go to prom with her? Whoa, attitude. I'm sorry, JJ, you're cute, but I'm not gay. Understandable. You're not my type anyway. I'm like everyone's type. What is your type? Oh, Gary. <coughs> What's it to you? God, sorry for trying to seem interested in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we all understand the plan. Yes. Sure. Yes. I'll see you girls tomorrow night then. Leave now. Right now? Uh, I just have to call my mom to come pick me up. It'll probably be like 15 minutes. Okay, go wait outside. I can't wait in here with you? No. Okay. Well, will one of you drive me? I would, but my license got suspended. And I genuinely just don't want to. Okay. JJ, what did you do to your hair? Sorry, I tried to do it like you did, but this is the best I could do. I've literally been working on it for hours. No. No, 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 no. Kayla, do you have a brush? You really just expect me to have everything you need on hand? Yes, I have a brush. Okay, this needs to be quick. Good. Wow, you weren't kidding. I have a magic touch in more ways than one. <laughs> okay, here's your earpiece. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. Your life must be pretty boring. Not really. And this is a walkie that you can talk through. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, and you're also standing right in front of me. Nice. Where the hell is Zoe? <sighs> Where is Brody? Oh, he's still getting dressed. He'll be here soon. How did you get dressed so quick? Um, I never took this off. Oh, I don't want to know anymore. Are you joking? You steal my boyfriend and now my dress too? Um, this is my dress. It's the same fucking one I'm wearing, dipshit. Cute, twinsies. No, not cute. We can't be wearing the same dress. Why not? I don't care about your minor inconveniences. Do we all remember the plan? Yes, I studied it all night. Yes, you only told me 47 times. Yes, wait, no, what's that? Zoe, you are literally the most useless human being. Yeah, but it's not my fault. I got it. Casey has three prom dates, but none of them know about each other. So our job is to make sure that they don't find out. Okay. But at least someone listens. I'm listening. I just don't really care. Raise your earpiece. Cute.
Just there, bro. I know. All the older hot girls are wearing short dresses. I'm the atmosphere, but... Yeah. Dude, how are we even here? We're freshmen. Principal Aspen is like a regular customer of mine. Bro, that's dope. Thanks for taking me as your date. Why did you do air quotes around date, bro? Because we're not actually on a date. Oh, wait, dude. Did you think we were, like, going to prom together? I mean, no, bro. Of course not. All right, good, bro, because that would have been hella awkward. Yeah. Mike, this is a formal event. No hats allowed. I can't take this off, bro. Take it off. No, man, please. No one has ever seen you without it my hat, against bro. Dress, bro. Take it off or I will have you escort. Why you always gonna stick up your ass, man? No, man, please. No one has ever seen you without it my hat, against bro. Dress code. Take it off, or I will have you escort. Why you always just stick up your ass, man? Dude, what, bro? Your hair is gorgeous. Really? Yeah, bro. If you were a girl, I would like totally be into you, bro. Follows. JJ, you clean up nicely. You, you look beautiful. I know. So, are you um, are you still a lesbian? Last time I checked. Yes. Well, how recently have you checked? What do you mean, recently? Oh. Come on, bud. You deserve to spend time with someone who appreciates your company. Yeah. Okay, have fun. Oh, it's Ella Lovey. You look beautiful. You look amazing. I'm so happy you made it. Yeah, well, typically when someone asks you to be their date for prom, you two are supposed to go together. I understand. So, I was rather surprised when you said you wanted to meet me here. I'm so sorry. My friend was having a crisis. I just... I really needed to be there for her. What? None of us were having no crisis. She's lying. She couldn't arrive with anyone, otherwise her cover would be blown. Oh. Where, where does this go? Keep up. I don't mean this way. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's completely understandable. You're such a good friend for doing that. Good friend? <laughs> That's laughable. Will you join me at my seat? Of course. Hello? Is this why? <laughs> I'm walking with Rose for a seat. Any sound <laughs> No. Clear. Over. Hello? This is so fun. <laughs> Sorry, love, did you say something? Oh, no, that wasn't me. Hello? Casey, can you hear me? My apologies. Sometimes I like hear voices. I think they may be my spiritual guides, but... I don't think this, like, matches my dress. I can never make out what they're saying. <laughs> I think mine's clogged. Casey, my love, I have a very important question. Okay. Um, what is your astrological sign? Um, I'm a Gemini. <gasps> oh, God! Okay, um, May or June? June. Okay. Casey, that's a red flag. Over. Okay, see, who's your favorite musician? Casey, prom date number two has arrived. I repeat, prom date number two has arrived. Fuck Dylan. Hmm, I don't know Fuck Dylan. What drawn are there? What? You said your favorite musician was the band Fuck Dylan? I'm not familiar with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're good. Do you think you could show me a song to see if I recognize it? Hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, you mean like, you mean like right now? Wait, are Dylan and Brody twins? You guys dated and he never introduced you to his sister? Must have not been that serious. He got me a promise ring. They're here somewhere. I'm a big supporter of the arts. Oh crap, Dylan is walking around for Casey. <laughs> oh my god, Casey, hide. Dylan is looking your way. Casey, are you okay? We need a doctor over here. No, no, shh, shh, I'm fine. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god, Casey, hide. Dylan is looking your way. Casey, are you okay? We need a doctor over here. No, no, shh. 
What is wrong with you? Sorry, I just got like really stressed and I just like needed a moment to myself. Right now. If you really can't decide on the song to show me from Dylan, it's not that big of a problem. I will just look it up myself. No! But what gives? Well, you really better hope that just didn't break. Gemini's crazy. Guys, this is not going well. I just threw Rose's phone across the room. What? All the You good thing you have two more options. Over. Go just talk Dylan until I can sleep away. Watch that. Over. Well, I should really write a good Amazon review for this phone case. <laughs> so you're not mad that I just whipped your phone across the room? I think you're quite crazy, but truthfully, love, I just need a little more excitement in my life. Hi, baby. What's up, Angel? Long time to see. And by long time, I mean like 10 minutes, but 10 minutes feels like forever without you, baby. <laughs> You're so funny. So, this is the infamous Brody that I've heard so much about. What have you heard about me? That's your player. Thanks. Hi, pretty. Hey, nice to meet you. What's your name? <sighs> That's not funny. Did I say something wrong? Did you guys even date? Oh my god, yes, for like nine months. Of uh, what? No, that's not ring the bell. That's like so pathetic for you, Taylor. <gasps> oh, you know what? Now I remember. You were the one that slapped me around a lot in bed. That sounds about white. I still old friend. Please excuse my idiot brother. He gives like 500 girls a month. What? So you were cheating on me when we were together? No, baby. I was cheating on everyone else with you. Taylor, okay, well, didn't you two have like five boyfriends at the same time too? Yeah, but it's different when I do it. They were more like than I thought. Up top. Well, didn't you two have like five boyfriends at the same time too? Yeah, but it's different when I do it. They were more like than I thought. Up top. <sighs> That's embarrassing. Uh, baby, does this mean you have other girls like me now? No, baby, you're different. Oh, okay, good. Oh, well, this thing. Anyway, I'm Dylan. I'm Casey's date. You guys are her friends, right? In flesh. Wait, you look really familiar. We went to that sleepover together a few months ago with Cassie and Emma. Oh my god, that was you? Yep. Whatever happened to Cassie? Um, she's in a Canadian here. Jesus. Anyway, do you guys know where I can find Casey? No. You go sit down in your seat and I will find her and bring her to you. I mean, I can just go look. No, go sit down. Okay. Buddy, um, do you want to go grab a drink? Yeah, they call me Joey. Aren't you forgetting something? No. Nothing? A condom. Do you have one? You're sus. Let's go. Okay. Be right back, JJ. Maybe. Casey, Dylan is getting a little too curious. You need to go say hi to her. Now! Rose, um, I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay, love, I can come with you. No. I mean, no, thank you. I'm just, I'm just extremely pee shy, but thanks. Okay, just take your time then, I guess. I will. Hey, you look great. I got you a drink. I put a little in there. Oh, great. Cheers. <sighs> Excuse me. I was thirsty. Casey, Max is here. I will repeat, Max. One thing I'm doing has entered the building and they are walking around trying to find you. Over. And I still am. I'm gonna go get some more. Okay, I'll still be working on my first by myself. Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Casey, Rose is heading to the bathroom to look for you. Well, I have to go meet Max. Do something. Roger. Over. What do we do? I don't know. Zoe. 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 Joey, we need your help. Over. Joey. 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 She's a goner. JJ, Rose is going to the bathroom and she didn't realize that Casey's not in there. We need to do something. Quick. Do something. I'll improvise. Casey. Casey, love, are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> no, my boyfriend just broke up with me. He told me we were gonna get married. <laughs> he brought 
me a poor and wig and make me promise we wouldn't have sex until marriage and then I caught him cheating on me with someone else very much having sex Jesus love, you have a rough night <gasps> My boyfriend just broke up with me He told me we were gonna get married <laughs> And make me promise we wouldn't have sex until marriage. And then I caught him cheating on me with someone else. Very much having sex. Jesus, Rob, you have a rough night. <sighs> Wait, then he broke up with you after he cheated. Yeah, because I'm a loser. And I wanted to give him a second chance. And he thought that was pathetic. So he dumped me. A jerk. <sighs> Before I give you any more advice, I must know. What is your attitude to this one? Um, Gemini. <laughs> Not again. Can you please stay with me for a little while and comfort me? I'm too sad to be alone. <laughs> please, Woz! Um, yes, of course. <laughs> Wait, how do you know my name? Um... Because I secretly have a huge cross on you. I've known who you were all year. Oh my god, this is heavy stuff. Wait, so are you bisexual then? No, I'm a lesbian. You just said you had a boyfriend. Um, I was twine again. I understand. I don't know, I'm a Gemini. What's in your ear? Um, what are you listening to? Just the relaxing sounds of horses neighing. It calms me. Hmm. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Wait, you're Emma Whitlock, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I've heard like so much about you. Like, good or bad? Honestly, it's mixed. That's fair. So like, what are you listening to? What? Like, like your earpiece. Oh, um, it's Rihanna's new album. What? Rihanna doesn't have a new album. She doesn't even like release music anymore. Trust me, I would know. Yeah, but she could like drop something at any minute. You just like never know. Oh. I just like want to be prepared. Low key, that's like so smart. I'm a diehard for Rihanna too. Oh my god. Did we just become my like besties? Yeah. Okay, next up, please put your hands together for our school's very own Woo! band who so generously offered to play tonight. Yay! Please give it up for Yeast Infection and the S Kings. Vince Gerald. I'm Nova. Nova? Give it up for Yeast Infection and the S Kings. Vince Gerald. I'm Nova. Nova. But up here, I go by Yeast Infection. Woo! And these are the STGs. Oh my god, Nova's in a band? Thanks for having us. Who's Nova? Oh, she's like my ex. But like, I broke her heart and she like disappeared off the face of the earth. One, two, three. Four. I guess she started a band and became like even more emo than she already was. Wow. Story of my life, searching for the right. But it keeps avoiding me. Babe, I love live music. Sorrow in my soul, but it feels so wrong. Really likes my company. Do you want to go dance with me? More than yeah. Love. And this is more than love. Oh my god, Brody? The sky is blue. Oh my god, big boob Emma. Do you know each other? I mean, because I'm gone again. Yeah, we smashed once. We did. When I know that. He Good to see you. It's fine. Kills him inside. That's the dance. You know that I'm happy with some other guy. Cause I may be bad, but I'm perfectly good at it. I guess they just like let anyone out there. They're very supportive of the arts here. Sticks and stones may break my bones. A little change. Too supportive. Even though we don't have anyone artistically inclined. S S S M. This is like really bad. I can't be supportive of this. Hey guys, are we having fun? Principal Osman, like what's the deal here? This is not good. Wait, what do you mean? Um, my ears are like bleeding. We had some budget cuts and I spent most of the budget. So we couldn't afford a real DJ, but they offered to play for free. Don't like that bad. Okay, you're kind of hot, but you're like stupid, so. Did you like listen to them sing beforehand? Okay, honestly, no. I just asked them if they would sing Rihanna songs the entire prom and they said yes. So. Um, so, like, why not just like play Rihanna over the speaker then? Have you never tried to post a Rihanna song on social media? Okay, well, I gotta bounce. I'm interviewing a sexy new PE teacher. Don't forget to try the punch. I spiked it. Thank you. That's all.
I gotta say, I was kind of surprised when you agreed to be my date for prom. Really? Why? I'm not really all that. Maxi Poo, yes you are, you're so cute. Plus, I haven't gone out with anyone non-binary yet. Thanks? No problem. So, do you have like a bucket list of different kinds of people you want to date? Date is a strong word. My list is for hookups. What else is on that list? Let's see. Okay, um, basketball player, dominatrix, someone shorter than five feet, Someone taller than six feet, a redhead. Oh, a non-binary person. Check. Hey, we haven't picked up yet. A MILF. Oh, I forgot to check that one. Impressive. A DILF, even though I'm gay, just because. Um, a cheerleader, JJ Johnson. What was that last one? A cheerleader. Uh, no, the one before that. Nothing. That was the end of the list. Let me see. Oops. Muscle spasm. Okay. Want to make out in the bathroom? Yeah. It's the most fun time of the night for nobody except them. But it is time to announce the prom king and queen. Yay! Hey guys, what did I miss? Who votes to announce who won the Super Bowl? What happened to your face? Magic. Damn, JJ's pulling bitches. Not bitches. Attractive young women. Whatever, dude. Don't make me. Uh, okay. And the prom queen is. Pisces, the math. What? Yeah! And so close, she's a freshman. I genuinely don't know, but um, she got the most votes by an overwhelming amount. <laughs> Shit. Pisces, okay, come out on the dance floor. Everyone make way, make way. Okay, now the prom king and queen will have the dance floor to themselves. Hi. Thank you. Um, to have a private dance with their dates. No. Okay, okay. okay Gerald. We don't need to do that, honestly. One. What do they expect? Wait, wait, what's, what's the problem? Has anyone seen Casey? Will the dates of the prom queen and king please make their way to the floor? Oh, excuse me, guys. That's that's me. Oh, shit. That's me. Okay, well, that's me. I'd rather be dancing with you. I'm really glad you feel that way. For more reasons than one. Excuse me. Sorry. I wish I could find my date. Hi. No, I said their prom date. This is a private dance. The rest of the student body can have the floor after this one minute and 31 second song, okay? God, be pissed up. No, I am Casey's date. No, I'm Casey's date. What? Uh, I see where this is going now. This is so surprising. Honestly, I'm just happy this isn't my fault. Same. No, she literally said yes to me. She said yes to me too. And I. I um, Casey? Um, do you remember that concussion I had? Last year? No, that's not. Me. Why did you say yes to all three of us? Because you're all sexy. Unbelievable. Honestly, I really don't mind. I've been making out with JJ in the bathroom this entire time, and it was absolutely lovely. Honestly, I really don't mind. I've been making out with JJ in the bathroom this entire time, and it was absolutely lovely. Okay, this is none of my business. You fellas can take this elsewhere. I'd like to get on with my program. Guys, help me. Make something up. I look like a fool. How did you even win prom queen as a freshman? <laughs> You're welcome. What? I put your name in the ballot 583 times. Why would you do that? Because you deserve the recognition, silly. You're actually the most idiotic person I've ever met in my entire life. What? Casey, Max, Dylan, I'm so sorry. It's okay. We forgive you. We understand. Really? No. Oh, oh my god. Hey guys. After party at my place. Except Casey. You're not invited. That was like super lame of you. <gasps> Yay! I mean, not yet. Wanna go to the party together? I absolutely love that idea. <laughs> Bye, Casey. Okay, I'm going to school. See you guys tonight. Okay, have a good <clears throat> What on earth are you wearing? Do you want boys staring at you the wrong way? Actually, no. I will not have my daughter be no slut. She turned into a whore. Do you want the boys yanking their sausages to you in class? What if I do? You are a disgrace to this family. You do realize I'm gonna be 18 in a couple months, right? And then you can't tell me what to do. My sweet little precious daughter's turned into this. You guys even knew. <laughs> You're upsetting your mother. Go change into some real clothes right now. By the way, I'm gay. There's uh, something I gotta tell you guys. What, dear? I'm gay.
What? What? What did you say? Honey, honey, what did she say? She thinks she's a homosexual. You're clearly confused. I'm not confused. I like girls. We need to find a good man so he can show you the way. I don't want a man. I am a lesbian and I have a lesbian girlfriend and we have lesbian no. sex. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Who are you calling? I'm calling conversion therapy. I ain't gonna have this in my house. We have a very long history of trophy wives in this family and that's not gonna stop with you. Yep, hello. I got a raging one for you today. Gotcha. She's not breathing. Grandma? She's not breathing. You Grandma? killed your grandmother. You are just great to this family. No, her homosexuality has killed you. <laughs> Wake up. It's okay. Oh she was lying. <laughs> she was lying. She's dead. Gertrude, you're alive! Yes, I'm fine. So I think you're okay. Get your filthy homophobic hands off of me. Excuse me? Oh, Dad, you treat your daughter like this. I raised you better than that. I am so disappointed in you and you. I love you very much, sweetheart, no matter who you love. I don't. I don't love you two no more, though. Now that my sweet, precious granddaughter has come out and told us who she really is, it's only right that I do... Who? We know who you are. You're a bag of bones that plays Scrabble all day. I am a lesbian. What? What? Yes. You heard it right. You know my friend Matilda? Oh, yeah. yeah I'm not well, Matilda. Uh, she's not my friend. Ha <laughs> ha. Me and Matilda like to get a little rowdy in the sack, if you know what I mean. Matilda was here last night. Hey, sweetheart, I love you very much. And if you need to borrow any of my things, let me know. Okay, that's a little weird, Grant, but it's the thought that counts. Hey, bestie. Oh my god, are you okay? No, I'm sick. Weren't you just sick like last week? Yes. <laughs> Damn, girl, I don't want what you got. We can't all be you, Fai. Well, duh, no one can be as cool as me. Sorry, I just have so many people blowing up my phone. Everybody wants me. Yeah, everybody wants me too at first, and then they get to know me and run for the hills. What's it like to be the loser? Hi, guys. How did you get in here? You were not invited. Oh, god. Come on. The door was open. JJ, when are you gonna understand that you're worthless and nobody wants you around? Yeah, I definitely don't either. I barely like her. I'm doing the best I can. Well, your best isn't good enough because I'm doing better. Even Sicky over here is doing better than you. You guys wanna play rookies with me? Hey JJ, what's it like to be a one and done? God is so mean. Everybody knows you need two rounds to be fully satisfied. <sighs> True. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Hi, um, I'm here to fix your refrigerator. I didn't hire a refrigerator repairman. I'm just gonna come in. Oh. Can I look at? She has a lot of photos of just her. She doesn't have one plan for the whole month. Is this, is this the refrigerator? So, so what's wrong with it? Right. I'll just take out some, uh, expired milk, some, some really old leftovers that are starting to stink. Yeah, the leftovers, sorry about that. This is kind of depressing, not gonna lie. Yep. Yeah, it sounds like a refrigerator. What, uh, what, um, school did you go to to learn this? The thing is, is I'm not a refrigerator repairman. I was actually gonna rob you, but then I saw how depressing your life looks and now i feel bad so i'm gonna go and then i told her to go put cream in my coffee or she's fire and then i fired her anyway that is lovely honey honey is that you come over here and say hello to your family hi how is your day why are you acting weird it was good it was a good day i didn't ask and i don't care why you act suspicious why are you hiding your arm my arm no, oh, nothing. You were nothing. hiding something. Well, I injured it playing softball. Since when does she play softball? I don't remember paying for that. Show me your arm now. No, Mom, it's fine. I'm just gonna go ice it in my room. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Young lady, get back here right now! Surprise! What is that? It's a sleeve. That is not sleeve. This is a sleeve. You look like you're just crawling out of Satan's asshole. No man is going to want to marry you looking like that. I don't want to marry a man. I want to marry a woman. You are a disgrace to this family. What a waste of my vagina. What is wrong with tattoos? I have one on my lower back. I believe the children call it a tramp stamp. Children, please go upstairs and get ready. Your Uncle Conrad is coming over to have dinner with us. Why do we need to get ready? We're already ready. 
You need to put on some more clothing. What do you mean? But, Daddy, he scares me. I don't want him to come over. Yeah, he's really creepy. How dare you disrespect my brother like that? Last time he came over, he ate my last dino nugget without even asking. Whatever. Come on, JJ. Let's just go change. Is this better, Dad? Yes, much better. Thank you for finally doing something right in your life. Oh, good. That's him. Give your Uncle Conrad a big hug. No? Okay. Welcome, brother. Have a seat. How you doing, JJ? Please don't eat my dino nuggies. What about you? I hear you're a lesbian now. Why are you girls wearing winter jackets in the middle of summer? They're sick. Anyway. Little brother, I almost forgot I got you a gift. You know me so well. Dance, dance, my hand, dance. Why do you guys look like that? Wednesday, my little storm cloud. How is your day going? Great. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. How can we make it worse? Wait, did you call me Wednesday? T today's Sunday. Don't be so silly, my little death trap. It's not a good look on you. My name is JJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny and I don't like things that are funny. Now quit being goofy or we will take you to the amusement park. But that sounds so fun. Are you feeling okay? I, I think so. All right, I'm ready. Oh, good. I'm so excited. Where are we going? A funeral, obviously. What? Who died? No idea. We just heard there was one today. You guys are being so weird. And Mia, why are you dressed like a prisoner? Mia? That is a beautiful name. Why would you insult me like that? You know my name is Pugsley. What is up with her? What's up with me? You guys are the ones calling me a day of the week and getting excited to go to a stranger's funeral. This is what we do every Sunday. What the flick? Hi guys, thanks for waiting. My parents made me change five times into warmer clothes. They're really worried I'm gonna get hypothermia. Yeah, it's really cold out. Emma, what on earth are you wearing? I'm Mrs. Claus, duh. You're gonna get sick. Okay. You look, um, revealing. Well, obviously. We're trying to collect donations. Nobody is not going to open their door for a hot blonde high schooler. That's pretty smart, actually. Okay, so what's going to be our strategy? I was thinking that we just say that I need a kidney transplant to live. No one is going to care about that, Gerald. Okay. Wait, Emma, what, um, what happened to your boobs? I don't know what you're talking about. They were definitely a, a lot bigger before. Okay. Hello? Hello. Hello. We are, are from... you from Jehovah's Witness? Uh, I don't want to hear any of that. Uh, no, ma'am. What Christmas care was? I need a kidney transplant. Oh, I had a kidney transplant too. Uh-huh. What, what doctor are you seeing? Um, I'm Dr. Um, Bacon. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know him. Uh, what, what, what hospital does he work at? Um, the one down the street. There's no hospital down the street. Yes, there is. It's been there for 30 years. Oh, sorry, F forgive me, I have, I have dementia. I'll take five boxes of Thin Mints, please. No, ma'am, we're Christmas carolers. Why is that one dressed like a hooker? Your parents let you out of the house looking like that? <laughs> my parents kicked me out for being gay, so now I have to sell my body to afford rent. Oh, the same thing happened to me when I was young. Let me get my checkbook. I'll be right back. Oh my god, that worked. But we didn't even sing yet. Let me get my checkbook. I'll be right back. Oh my god, that worked. But we didn't even sing yet. Who should I make this out to? Emma Whitlock for $5,000. Please. $5,000? Oh, you're here to collect the money for my new solar-powered roof shingles? Yes. We cannot begin work without payment. Oh, okay. Here you go. Thank you. Well, when are you coming back to start working? Um, Wednesday. Okay, thanks. Oh my god, that worked. Guys, this feels wrong. Maybe we should just sing for her anyway. All right, fine. And as part of the promotion for the shingles, you get a free song sung by us. That that sounds nice. Okay. A one, two, three, four. When my got ran over by reindeer. Walking home from my house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we would be. Why is she crying? What's wrong? I'm sorry, my my grandmother actually.
actually did get run over by a reindeer when I was a child. So that song is very traumatic to me. Are you joking? Yeah, maybe we should just leave. I feel like we've done enough to this poor lady. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, ma'am. Merry Christmas. I'm, I'm Jewish. Wow, this is a rough day. Where am I? Am I at school? How did I get here? <laughs> oh, there's Carlos and Gerald. Hey, guys. Bro, I can't believe she died. Who, who died? <laughs> she was the love of my life. Wait, but I thought I was the love of your life. I'm never going to get over her, bro. <laughs> Wait, who died? JJ. What? Oh, who is JJ? G guys, I'm right here. JJ. Oh, my God. They can't see or hear me. I'm a ghost. Oh, I still feel that. <laughs> Emma? I knew I should have asked her on a date. You could still ask me, Emma. I'm right here. I will never meet someone as cool as her ever again. Emma, I should have told you that I'm crazy in love with you. I was just so nervous to tell you because you're so much prettier than I am and I thought you were way out of my wig. This sucks. I'll never get to experience what it's like to be with Emma. I've never even had my first kiss yet. We're just here to inform you that our daughter has passed on and will no longer be coming to school. Mom? Dad? Oh, thank God. She was a pain in my ass. Yeah, now we can finally get a divorce. We were only trying to stay together for the sake of JJ. But now that she's gone, we can separate and live happy lives. <laughs> <laughs> It was just a dream? Oh, thank God. Hey, Dad. Hey. <clears throat> Are you okay? <clears throat> Are you sick? Don't get too close to me. Not medically. Just sick of this shit. What? Hey. Oh, look, it's Mia, my favorite daughter. Wait, where are you going? Out. I'll be back later. Are you guys kidding me? Both of my children are ungrateful and don't love me. Not only do I have to accept my only two children being gay, but I also do everything for you too. Not really. Okay, you're right, but I do a lot. What's up with him? I don't know. He's acting weird. I deserve to be appreciated. I just deserve to love and appreciate ungrateful children. This is ridiculous. Hey, Bobby. Happy Daddy's Day. At least you love me. Now, wait a minute. Nobody said anything about the L word. Do you think we fooled him? What? Were you not playing along? About what? I was trying to make him think I forgot it was Father's Day. It is. <laughs> hey, Dad. Are you crying? No. Happy Father's Day. What? You didn't forget? JJ, Carlos, Emma. Emma, where are your shoes? The sidewalk was so hot on my way to school that my shoes melted like completely off. Can you please turn the AC up? It's so hot in here that my boy isn't walking. Okay, okay, fine. I'll make it colder. No! Oh my god, we're gonna die. Why did the power go out? With the extreme heat waves, our power grids can't handle all the electricity because everyone is running their ACs on full blast. My mom told me that July 2023 was like the hottest month like ever recorded. It's cool. Fortunately, the Inflation Reduction Act is, is working to make power grids more reliable, especially during heat like, waves. How are they doing that? The IRA will boost installed solar and onshore wind capacity in the U.S. by 40%. And help build out 950 million solar panels, 120,000 wind turbines, and 2,300 grid-scale battery plants, all by 2030. Well, that's really great, truly. But until then, I need a personal fan. I'm not doing well. Does that help? No. Oh. Well, congratulations, you've been selected to win a free cruise to the Bahamas. Oh my god. And like most cruises, all the expenses are included. Are you serious? All we would like for you to do is to participate in a short survey. If you'd like to proceed, press 1. If not, press 1. Yeah, I'll do a survey. You press 1. You're on your way to winning a free cruise to the Bahamas. I thought I already won. First question. Please provide your full name and address. Okay, um, my full name is Heidi. Elizabeth Smith. And my address is 267 Roast Meat mm -hmm. Hill Drive in Beverly Hills, California. Okay, thank you. Now, could you please tell me your mother's maiden name? Well, that's an odd question. Um, you know what? I, um, I actually don't know. Let me bring my mom and I'll, um, I'll let you know. Just hold on one sec, okay? Okay. <phone rings>
Mom? Hiding. Where are you? I've been done with my colonoscopy for five hours to take okay, uh, you yeah. to oh, pick okay. me up. I'm actually in the car right now driving to come get you. Um, Could you just tell me what your maiden name is real quick? Parker. Okay, thanks, Mom. I'll see you on Sunday for dinner. No, Heidi, I need you to pick me up. God damn it! Hi, you still there? Yeah, um, it's Parker. Okay, great. Now, what is the name of your first pet? I don't really have any pets growing up. Kai say. What? Yeah, um, what was the name of that hamster I bought you when you were three? The one that died because you forgot to give it water? Yeah. His name was Hampy. Okay. Um, yeah, it was Hampy. Hampy the hamster. Excellent! You almost won your free cruise. Kai say, we're gonna go on a cruise. Oh my god, really? Yeah, I just have to win on this survey. How do you win on a survey? Lastly, please provide your social security number. Okay, it's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's mine. Okay, perfect. Let me just run this real quick. Congratulations, you have won! Please arrive at the dock at 2 p.m. I will text you the address right now. What? What? 2, 2 p.m. is in 43 minutes. That is correct. Have a great vacation, Mrs. Smith. Oh, it's actually Miss Smith. I'm divorced. Hello? Okay, Casey, pack your bags. We're going to the Bahamas, bitch. USA! 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 JJ, why are you not wearing red, white, and blue? I'm wearing black for the funeral. Funeral? Oh, no. Did Auntie Karen finally kick the bucket? Unfortunately, no. Oh, thank God. I forgot to make sure we're in her will. I'm wearing black for the funeral of our independence. For the women, for the gay people, for the trans people, for the black people, for the indigenous people, everybody except white straight men. We are going to your uncle's barbecue in 30 minutes. And I still need to go to the liquor store and pick up alcohol. It's B-Y-O-B-G. Bring your own booze and guns. Get your stuff in some colors right now. You want clothes? Okay, fine. These are the only colors I will be wearing today, and I am not going. <laughs> you're going. You think you can tell me what to do because you're a straight white man, don't you? Yes. I am not going to stand for this. You're right, you're sitting. Roe v. Wade was overturned, and who knows what's next? Probably gay marriage. You don't need to worry about getting an abortion. You're gay. And you're way too young to be having sex. Are you fucking serious right now? That is not the fucking point. Cut it up to here. I will not be celebrating love for this country. JJ, you got it all wrong, dear. It's not love for the country. It's love for alcohol. I love alcohol too. I'm not celebrating. I'm mourning. Wait, what? What? Who is giving you alcohol? Um. Huh. Listen, do you hear that? We have to get going. People are already starting the fireworks. Or gunshots. Well, either way, I want to go. Ah, oh, shit. The liquor store isn't even open today. That's it. I'm not going anymore. I'm so happy you decided to make the correct decision. W wait, do you have any alcohol in here? Anywhere that I could, um, borrow? Are you joking? Hello? Wait, slow down. What? Oh my god. Okay, okay. thanks for letting me know. So, um, it turns out your Uncle Karen actually did die. Just right now. Oh, well. What? What is this? Uh, I was, um, napping. <sighs> Unbelievable. I saw a spider in my room, so... <sighs> okay. Clearly, we need to go over the basics first. This is a car. And the purpose of this vehicle is to get you from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. That is it. It is not to be used for napping or any recreational activities, including, but not limited to, hanging out with friends. Kissing boys or girls. Just girls. Having sex with boys or girls. <sighs> Smoking weed or any other drugs. Anything that will bring you joy, that is not what this is for. Do you understand? I can use it to go get the drugs though, right? You are this close to living with your Aunt Linda. I'm kidding. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, yeah, thanks for coming out. So, what's up? Um... I don't know, just like a long day at work. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel. What do you do for work? I'm like in between jobs right now. Oh, cool. So like, what are you looking for? I mean, like, what were you looking for on Bumble? Was it Bumble? Fuck, I totally thought we matched on Tinder. No, I actually don't have Tinder. Oh. 
Oh, no. It was that other girl I met up with last night. Oh. So, like, do you do this often? Yes. Oh. You? No. This is actually my first time meeting up with someone from a dating app. But... It's growing great, so. So, um, just so you know, I'm like pretty emotionally unavailable right now because of my girlfriend. I mean, my ex girlfriend recently broke up with me, so yeah, it's been rough. Oh, I'm so sorry. How long ago was the breakup? Like two years ago, but you know, it's it's still like rough. Yeah, I get it. Do you? You're pretty hot. You should definitely like be my girl. Without, like, the officialness, you know? Because, like, I'm not ready for that yet. And, I mean, honestly, I'm probably not going to be ever, so. Okay. But, like, are you still going to talk to other people? Um, I'm probably not. So you probably shouldn't because I'm not. But, like, if I do, you can't get mad at me because, like, we're not official. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just, like, really emotionally unavailable right now. So, like, I really don't want to hold you down. But, like, I'm probably not going to talk to other people. So... You probably shouldn't either. Okay. Do you think, like, down the road you'll be open to, like, a real relationship? Probably not. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if this is gonna work. But... Do you still want to hook up, though? No. But... One week later. I'm sorry. Hello? Hey, um, this is Emily from Bumble. I feel really bad about the way we left things and I was wondering if you wanted to go on another date maybe? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry, dude. I actually have a girlfriend now and we're so in love. We're actually moving in together tomorrow. What? Okay, have a nice life. What the fuck? I really like this girl named Emma, but I don't know how to tell her and get her attention. I feel the same way about your brother. I hate everybody. Do you guys want to play unicorns? No. Wait, I know what we can do. I saw this really cool app that you can make your own music videos. What if we make some and then post them so Emma and your brother can see how cool we are and they'll want to date us? Okay, I like this idea. Okay, it's called the Tempo app. Okay. Which one should I do? They have one that says love. I'm not ready to say I love you just yet though, so this is perfect. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, all I have to do is just upload like 10 pictures of myself, that's it. Okay, ready? Let's see. Okay, show me. Okay, wait, that's actually kind of dope. Okay, I'm gonna send it to her now. Okay, now we wait. Who texted me? <gasps> she sent one back. Wow. She really photoshopped us together. I'm in love. I've decided I'm in love. Okay, now it's my turn. Can you guys help me take some cute pictures? Okay, if you say so. Okay, do something funny. Okay. JJ, you gotta seem cooler than that. How do I look cooler? I'm already cool. Why am I friends with you? Can we do an action shot of me doing a jump? Please? Okay. Okay. How's that? Looks good. <laughs> Pretty. Okay, why don't you do some like cooler poses? Maybe something a little more subtle? Yeah, that's better. Cute. Looking good, bestie. Maybe not the hey mamas. No, but nobody likes that. I'm a hey mamas. You're right. I get plenty of girls. You look great. If I was gay, I would totally date you. Can I get two girls anything? Maybe some condoms, some cigarettes? We're gay. Dental dams? No, Mom. Go hang out with your own friends. But I don't have any friends. I've burned a lot of bridges. Any friends I've had, I've either slept with their husbands and or wives. Go make some new ones then. How? This is awkward. Go download Lex. It's an 18 plus queer app to make friends or find dates. Okay, leave us alone. Okay, let's see what this thing's about. Two pretty and bored girls. My roommate and I really want to do something fun, but chill tonight thinking about a game night. Someone entertain us. 
entertain you, huh? In what way? Am I supposed to interpret that as sexual? Because I definitely did. Oh, I can just click on their profile. Oh, oh, she's pretty. Okay, I can just message her. Oh, perfect. This is easy. Take that. I'm gonna have friends in no time. I don't need you. Where are the little bottoms that want attention? I would I would think of myself as a top. No, I'm definitely I'm definitely a top. Yeah, you know what? I'm definitely not. I'm gonna message her. You know what? Maybe I should just make my own post. Seeking queer friends. I'm very lonely. My daughter no longer wants to hang out with me. I'm very friendly. Just don't let me near your significant other. Perfect. This is fun. I'm gonna have so many new friends. Hey, Emma, do you wanna be my New Year's kiss? Oh my god, yeah. I'm losing my girl to someone way hotter than me. I don't think she's hotter than you. Oh my god, don't look. I said don't look. When someone says don't look, it kind of makes you want to look. What am I looking at? My ex-girlfriend is over there. Casey? Isn't she a bitch? Yes, but she was my bitch. Why don't you want her to see you? Because she hates me ever since I broke up with her. Well, she sees you and she is walking this way. Shit. Hey, JJ, how have you been? Good. I'm good too. Thanks for asking. So, do you have a kiss for midnight? Yep. Call us. What? Oh, that's too bad. I was gonna say if you wanted to be mine. We never did get to have our first kiss. You really wanna kiss me? <laughs> You're so funny. Wait, kissing my ex? That would totally make Emma jealous. Casey, wait. Yeah, I'll kiss you. Okay, great. Can't wait. Your lips are so kissable. Which ones? All the girls here are gay, bro. Who am I supposed to kiss? They should like the mic. I guess I'll just kiss a boy, if I have to, whatever. You ready? Ready. I guess I'll just kiss myself, per usual. I can't watch this. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Woo! <coughs> Loser. What the flick? That's what you get for breaking up with me. I wonder who that is. Oh my god. JJ. I'm here. And I bought something for everyone. Oh my god, like you got this. No, I bought homemade cupcakes. Um, thanks. I'm sure everyone will like, love these. Yo, are those weed cupcakes? No. Ugh, lame. Um, that one like fell over. Oh, weed? I thought you said tweed. <laughs> yes, they're weed. Definitely. JJ, you the man. Yeah, you can have the ugly one. Oh my god. This is nasty. I put my blood, sweat, and tears into those. Oh my god, what? Those are like the ingredients for cupcakes? That's disgusting. I did not know that. Oh, shit, sorry. Well, I just want to get high anyway, so. Bro, I think I'm already feeling it. Um, like, why does the container say, like, stop and shop? It does, doesn't it? I forgot to take the sticker off. Okay, they're not homemade. I have no idea how to cook. Oh my god, you, like, found weed cupcakes at stop and shop? I did, like, not know they were doing that now. No, I was just messing with him. I want to see if the placebo effect is real. Oh, I don't get it. <laughs> By the way, I really like how you look. Thanks. TJ, you made it. I've been waiting for you. Come join us, we're about to place in the bottom. Oh goody. Hey everyone. I bought cupcakes, but Bodie ate all of them before they made it past the front door. Weed cupcakes. Bruh, I'm feeling it so hard. They're not like really weed cupcakes. That's so embarrassing. My arms feel so heavy, bro. JJ, we've all gone, so it's your turn. What? I have to go now? I'm not prepared. <laughs> You're fine. Spin. I hope it lands on me. Okay. Come on. It's not happening, so I'm not worried. Come on, come to me. Place. No, keep going. Please, bro, give me a second chance. We've already kissed before, and it wasn't good. 
There's no point. Wait, you guys pissed? Oh, perfect. Then you shouldn't need to again. Why did I not, like, know about this? Rules are rules. Bro, have you ever, like, noticed how weird our hands um, look? The whole point of this game is to, like, kiss people you, like, haven't or wouldn't kiss, you know? She can, like, redo it. Hmm. Right. She's got a point. Oh, my God. I have to kiss Gerald. Hey. It was good. <gasps> Maybe for you. You kept groping my boobs. What boobs? Um, like you've kissed him before. Uh, no. But it's Gerald. I'm tripping, bro. You can, like, redo it. Don't, like, listen to them. Oh, I'm mad. <clears throat> okay, like, my rules. My party. <sighs> JJ, you can, like, spin again. Thanks, Emma. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Just spin. Okay. I'm like melting into this wall. Literally not even over my dead body. I wanna go home. Are you freaking Oh joking? my god, this game is rigged. It should be me. That's interesting. Oh my god, Zoe. I don't like what I'm playing anymore. Okay. That's like worse than Gerald. This is awkward. We're like best friends. Best friends make the best lovers. Okay. Go to the closet. The closet? I thought we just kissed for a second, like, right here. Maybe for, like, middle school spin the bottle. I hope you guys know it's, like, bullshit. You're not playing by the rules. We're in high school. We're mature. We do seven minutes in heaven. What? Do I even want to know what that is? We're, like, seven minutes in hell with Gerald. So, basically, we go in the dark closet by ourselves, and we have seven minutes to do whatever we want. Have fun. It took me long enough to come out of the closet. I don't really want to go back you in. You don't have to. Um, like, you don't have to do anything you don't want to. I had to kiss Gerald. Hey. <sighs> okay. Let's go then. Okay. This will be fun. I think I just like people. Or I just like sex. I'm not sure. So you're pansexual? No, I'm straight. But you kiss anyone? Yeah. Except Taylor. I don't believe you. I just, I just don't see it. I really wouldn't. She's too mean. And I like when people are mean. But she's not the fun kind of mean. You know what I mean? I meant that I don't believe that you'd kiss anyone. Except Taylor. Kiss me and I'll prove it. Are you sure? Me too, but mostly with my pillow. You're so full of yourself that you assume I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the wall. It's more interesting. I'm like so addicted to you. Oh my god. Stop looking at me. Oh, but you like shut up. Zoe, I hate to break it to you, but you're not straight. Spaghetti is straight. Not after you heat it up. Exactly. Oh. I can't stand here this anymore. I'm going to leave. Will you shut up with your stupid accent? I'm not trying to listen. Actually, I think I'll stay all night just to bother you. You're pretty sorry. You're into it. Yeah. Oh my god. Damn it. In my country, we don't do this. You don't like that. Of course we do. I just meant that where I'm from, we don't fraternize with other people while we're talking to someone. Um, you're like from England. Okay, what's your point? Um, it's England. It's not like that different. Oh my god, we're just like so desperate You don't know, like hook up. Mm -hmm. Of course we do. Mm -hmm. I just meant that where I'm from, we don't fraternize with other people while we're mm -hmm. talking to someone. Um, you're like from England. Okay, what's your point? Um, it's England. It's not like that different. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, we're just like so yeah. desperately special. Okay, at least my breast size isn't the most interesting thing about me. <laughs> you just like insulted yourself, Skeeter Bites. Oh. I don't want to break these. <laughs> Oh no, I don't want this to end. We only have three minutes left. I can get it done in three minutes. Get what done? You. Oh. Oh. Am I ready for this? I've never done this before. Oh, no pressure. Think it through. Fork it. 
I'm ready. Okay. Um. Wait, are, are you? Oh. Wait. Do you wanna? Are, are you a top? Are, are you a top? I do not. Don't worry, I'm experienced. This is very sweet of you, Toby. What are they doing in there? Where is there? These are some really complicated pants. Where is here? It's one single zipper. Who is here? I'm usually a lot smoother. Am I here? <sighs> Such complex questions. Here, let me help. I, I think they're doing it. Are you joking? Doing it. Um, no. JJ's like a virgin. She wouldn't like do that. <gasps> it's stuck. Ow. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, what have I done? This game was your idea. Okay, help me pull them off. Okay. Ow. Ow. Jesus. You're not moving. Ow. Ew. Everything is doing. This was my chance. Did you super glue these on? Do this. Do that. Yes. I'm saving myself for marriage and I just wanted to be extra sure. Oh, really? No. Why not just be, you know? This is the worst party okay. I've ever been to. And time's up. I really fucked up. Oh my god, what? What are they doing in there? Finally! Finally! And now. Time's up! No! Quick! I was really excited! Oh well. I'm gonna be a 40 year old virgin. Oh, oh my god, JJ, like, put your pants on. It took me so long to get them off. That was miserable. Zoe, did you actually just make up with JJ? Oh yeah. We almost did more. I had my chance and I blew it. Hey, that was like really fun. Okay, who's next? Not me, I'm over this game. Wait, for what? Why did I like that so much? Oh my God, it's me, Emma. I'm like having a crisis. I should have practiced kissing more. It was way too fun. I'm like really confused now. Um, Casey, like what are you doing here? I told you like you weren't invited. This is my house. Oh, uh, this is your house. Wait, we're not at my house. Um, please don't make me leave. I'm never invited to anything. Well, why are you here? I was just given an address. I'm innocent, I swear. This is awkward. Um, like, Mrs. Smith told us we could, like, host this party here. Mrs. Smith is my mom. Oh. I'm at a party right now? Okay, well, you're still not, like, invited. Can you, like, go to your room? Are you joking? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? If someone is f***ing in my room, I'm gonna lose it. Ooh, snuck upstairs. Who's not here? I'm very much here, unfortunately. Whoever they are, they're dead. The Wama. Let's go see. Oh my god, this is like so fun. Honey. Mom? Dad? Didn't I teach you enough? JJ, what are you doing at a high school party? You are not allowed. Don't you think that's a bit hypocritical? What are you doing? And why? Honey, it's just a high school party. I just wanted to feel young again. What is wrong with that? So many things. Oh, I'm sorry. Is your Botox and boob job that my dad pays for not good enough to make you feel young again? N no, honey. Life is not all about looks, okay? I have been begging my dad to pay for my horseback riding lessons for years, and he still won't. Yet he has no problem paying for your cosmetic surgeries. Uh, hey, take that up with him. Uh, uh, no, don't take that up with me. JJ, you're being very disrespectful. You're interrupting my private time. You're interrupting my high school party. That you're not allowed to be at. Where is mom? I don't know. Okay, but I'm not understanding why you had to hook up in my room. Uh, um, excuse me, young lady. My room was occupied by one of your party goers, okay? And I didn't want to interrupt because I heard someone crying. This isn't even my party. I, I wasn't even invited. Yeah, and you're like still not. And you need to respect that young lady. What the frick? <laughs> Wait, like, who's, like, in her room? Bruh. <laughs> oh, my God, Mike. Bruh. Are you, like, in here alone? Yes, bruh. Like, leave me alone. Oh, my God. Okay, oh, like, sorry. <laughs> That's it. Party's over. Everyone get the fuck out of my house. Bruh. You two, get out. Oh, God. Can you drive me home? No. If you figured out a way to sneak out and get here, then you can figure out a way to get home. Okay. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Jerry, Jerry. What? What? 
What the heck? Come on, get up. It's your first day of high school. No, no, please, please. Please don't make me go, Dad. The kids are so mean to me. <laughs> Good. They will prepare you for the real world. Please, I can't go. <coughs> See, I'm COVID. Wait, why do you look like shit? I haven't been sleeping so well because your mother found out I was having an affair with Miss Smith, so she's been making me sleep on the couch. As she should. So I've been drinking like 10 cups of coffee a day to get through. Yeah, you don't look okay, Dad. Are you and Mom getting a divorce? It's looking that way, so enjoy seeing me while you can because she's definitely, probably, definitely going to get custody. So you're probably never going to see me again. Anyway, get dressed. The bus is coming in 20 minutes and I can't drive you if you miss it because your mother smashed my windshield. I'm being dramatic. Okay, it's the first day of high school. This is a fresh start for me. Nobody knows me. I have to make a great first impression. Actually, that's not true. Everybody knows me from elementary school and middle school. What am I saying? Okay, well, I can still try to make them think I'm cool now. You know what? No, I know I'm cool. I am cool. I'm just gonna go in there and be myself and people are gonna like me. And if they don't, I'm gonna come home and cry. Okay, I gotta figure out what I can wear that really says, I am JJ, I am a horse school, and I am cool, and I want friends. Okay, where should I sit? I think the bus driver is staring at me. He's so creepy. Ugh, this bus smells like feet. Oh my god, Emma's on my bus? She's so pretty. I should sit with her. I'll finally get her to notice me. Hey, sexy. Is the seat taken? Um, I guess not. Perfect. Fuck. Those are big. Yeah. Fuck you, Jacob. Sweaty onion, smug white boy. Okay, well, I don't want to sit in the front because that's where all the losers sit. And I don't want to sit in the back because that's where all the popular kids sit and do drugs. I guess I'll sit in the middle. Oh, good. It's a seat all to myself. If I can't sit with Emma, I don't want to sit with anybody. Oh, good. It's a seat all to myself. Hopefully, no one sits with me. I'm gonna put my backpack on the seat so it looks like there's no room. No room over here. Oh no, someone's coming. Quick, pretend you're sick. Hey, is anyone sick? <coughs> Maybe if I look really mean, no one will want to sit with me. Walking. What the heck is wrong with you? I like your braids. Mm -hmm. You smell really bad. You're smelling me. I've been wearing this shirt for four days. <laughs> nice. Boys, how weird are we disgusting? You know? We don't actually have cooties. That's just a myth. That's definitely not true. I'll prove it. Kiss me. In your wildest dreams. We actually do kiss all the time in my dreams. And by the way, cooties are real. Syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia. My mom has chlamydia. I don't know who any of those people are. Are they sophomores? We need better sex education. Oh, really? What's this? That's my horsey. Give it back. Why do you take it to school with you? You're kind of a freak, but I'm into it. Well, I am not into you. So never touch my horsey ever again and shut up. I have a crush on someone anyway. Who? Is he on this bus right now? That's none of your business. Do you want to come to my lax game after school today? No. You're lost. Trust me, it's not. I'm so sorry. I got really lost. You're late. I didn't know where I was going. This is a brand new school. No excuses. You should have gotten here earlier to study the school. What? What is your name? JJ. JJ, congratulations. You've landed yourself detention on the first day. What? My parents are going to kill me. 
Have a seat, you've disrupted my class enough. The only seat left is the front row dead center. Perfect, I'll be able to keep an eye on you. Oh my God. This sucks. That was hot. I like bad girls. Oh great, you're in my class? Mm hmm I went to the scheduling office and changed my schedule so we could be in all the same classes. Wait, how did you know what classes I was gonna be in? Oh. <laughs> Is Emma at least in this class? Who's Emma? Shh. JJ, you've disrupted my class enough for one day. Shall we? Okay, class, welcome to Algebra 1. Fuck, I forgot my textbook. Please open your textbooks to page 2. Why not page 1? That's the index, you idiot. Mr. Samuel, you can join Miss Punctual in detention this afternoon for your sass. No! Yes! What, JJ? I promise if you put him in detention with me, it will not be a punishment for him. So I think you should just let me off with a warning this time because life's been really rough lately and my parents are getting a divorce because my dad cheated on my mom with my ex-girlfriend's mom. And that's the real reason I was late today because I was having a really hard time and I was crying all morning. And that's the reason I couldn't get here early to study to school to know where to go. Life sucks. Detention's at 3 p.m. You're mean! Okay, now if we're done with the interruptions, I would love to start the lesson for today. Page two. Is that your phone? Whose phone is that? Nobody? It's nobody's phone? I, I hear a phone. Turn it off. There's no phones allowed in class. Put it away. Anyway, the quadratic formula. Okay, seriously, whose phone? Seriously? Bro, what the fuck? That's my girl, bro. This is gonna be a fun year, isn't it, JJ? I'm really, really solid. You have disrupted my class enough for one day. Go to the principal's office. What? No. Go or I will escort you. What do I do? Okay. This sucks. Oh, JJ. Now, who here knows what PEMDAS stands for? Please excuse my dope ass swag. Go to the principal's office. Yes. My love, I'm coming for you. I won't let you do this alone. You look really familiar. What's your name? JJ Johnson. Oh, uh, okay. I know your dad. You do? We were really good friends. I know what that means. Okay, so just like hang out for a bit. You can go on your phone, watch TikTok, whatever. Okay. You want some candy? Does it have drugs in it? Of course not. What kind of principal do you think I am? One that would have drugs and candy. I don't keep those at school. So, oh, finally my DoorDash. You're really late. No, um, I'm a student. Another one? Damn, how many students are at the school? Hopefully a lot. This is the principal? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, what are you in for? He's stalking me. I talked back to Mrs. Asman. Nice. Up top. Don't leave me hanging, that's really embarrassing. I'm so confused. Y'all know each other? Yeah, kind of. Ooh, are y'all together? No, I wish. Girl, uh, why don't you like him? He's cute. Yeah, why don't you like me? I'm cute and I can buy you flowers. I... I'm, um... I'm, I'm gay. I love it. We love our LGBTQ students. Diversity is very important to us. Can I take a photo of you for our Facebook page? This will look really good for me. Uh, no. Wait, JJ, you're gay? That's a relief. I thought I was just ugly. That's a factor. Principal Aspen. Hey guys. What are you doing here? I'm subbing your class today because your teacher is sick and is currently projectile vomiting and we have some budget cuts so we can't afford a real substitute. Yes! That's cool. Ah! This is the best day ever. Let's start with a fun lesson. Things that people should be fined for. Go. Bullying. Ooh, dentists that try to have conversations with you while they have their tools in your mouth. Oh, I hate that. People who drive slow in a left lane. Um, parents that don't let you stay home when you're sick. <coughs> That's literally so gross. <coughs> Please go to the nurse's office. Up. Okay. Anyone else? Oh, oil and gas companies responsible for high methane emissions. Actually, the new Inflation Reduction Act just did that. Really? Yeah. Companies that emit more than 25,000 metric tons of methane will now be fine. Why is that a good thing? Global warming, duh. Yeah, methane warms the planet 80 times more than carbon dioxide over the period of 20 years. So scientists have said that reducing methane emissions is actually one of our best chances at reducing global warming and climate impacts. Cool. Did you hear that? Who left this apple on my desk? Are you trying to poison me? Hey, JJ. It's too early for you. 
Okay, class, everybody take out a pencil. You have a pop quiz. On what? It's the second day of school. You'll be quizzed today on pages 2 through 55 in your textbook. So, I hope you all studied. You didn't tell us to study those pages. That's why it's a pop quiz. I didn't even know we had homework last night. I didn't assign any. You should have taken the initiative upon yourself to study if you're actually passionate about being in my class. Bro, I'm not passionate about being in this class. This class is required. Why did I become a teacher? How is this ever going to help us in the real world? It's not. I don't know any of these answers. Me neither. Time's up! That was only five minutes! Hand it in. Principal Astman? No, she's not here. But I can see you. I still see you. No, you don't. I'm off the clock right now. It's my lunch break. It's 8 a.m. Sorry, I didn't realize you were the lunch police. I'm looking for the guidance counselor. I need to talk to them. Okay, fine. Let me get her. Hello? Hi. How can I help you? What? You wanted to see the guidance counselor. Yeah. Well, you're looking at her. You're the principal and the guidance counselor? Yeah, they don't really give us a very high budget to work with. And I spent 80% of it to get the hot sports coaches. The ugly ones are cheaper? Significantly. I felt all tingly inside, and I'm not really sure what to do with that information because I've never felt that for a boy. Uh-huh. Did you try kissing him? No, but he gave me a hand massage, and I really liked it. <laughs> so you think you have a crush on him now? I don't know. I'm so confused. Well, sexuality is pretty fluid. I've enjoyed many women in my time. My time meeting this morning. So am I bi now? I mean, you don't need to label yourself if you don't want to. You should just allow yourself to feel how you feel. Would I prefer to smash the hot baseball coach? Yes, absolutely. But if Rihanna was knocking at my door, I would let her in. I mean, same, but I don't know how I feel. Girl, just continue hanging out with him and see what happens. It's not that deep. Okay, should I ask him on a date? Oh, absolutely not. Always. Let the man chase you. Never let them know that you like them. Okay. Um, I gotta get back to class, but thanks. Mm -hmm. If you see a DoorDash delivery out there, will you send them my way? Sure. Okay, open your textbooks to page 105. <laughs> Mrs. Asmin, can I please use the West Wing? You have three minutes. But what if I have to poop? Poop quickly. Okay. Today we will be converting to standard form and finding the intercept. Uh, can I use the bathroom too? No, one student at a time. You know the rule. I have severe IBS and I'm about to shit my pants, so if you don't want to clean that up, I suggest that you let me go. Fine. No sex or drugs in the bathroom. Why did she say that? What does she know? JJ, are you in here? Carlos? What are you doing in the woman's west womb? I wanted to make sure you were okay. Hey, you're not allowed in here. You're a boy. That's bold of you to assume my gender. It's 2023. JJ, please talk to me. Sorry. I just... I'm just such a loser. and I don't want to be a loser anymore. Why are you a loser? Because I really liked Emma and... Nova stole her from me because I couldn't get the balls to ask her out. So after you left the party the other day when I was going to kiss my ex-girlfriend, she pranked me and made me kiss the mirror. She's such a bitch. Emma saw it and it made me look like such a loser. JJ, you're not a loser. You're the coolest person I've ever met. I am a loser. I had my first kiss with a mirror. You haven't had your first kiss? No. See, now you think I'm a loser too. And you're the one person I really don't want to think I'm a loser. No, I don't. You just haven't found the right person yet, but when you do, they'll be so lucky to kiss you. I think I know who that person might be. Who? You. I knew it. I said no sex in the bathroom. Detention for both of you. In separate rooms. What was that? Oh my god. Is that your emergency alert? The time has come. Wait. Hi. Did you not hear me ringing the doorbell? 
What? It's pretty cold out there, and I'm wearing shorts. Oh my god, is that what that thing is? Nobody has ever pressed that. Why didn't you just text me that you were here? Oh, I don't really do this often. I don't really know the protocol. Sorry. Okay, well, come in. So, did you get the stuff? Oh, I got the stuff. Oh my god, yay. I'm so excited. I've never carved pumpkins before. Oh, because you've never had any friends to carve them with? No. I, I mean, yeah, I guess, but I meant because my parents never bought them for us. That's sad. What did you guys do for fall activities then? Um, I waked the leaves. Oh, to stuff them into dummies for Halloween? No, my parents just made me wake the leaves so there wouldn't be leaves. Here, you can have the big ones since you're so experienced. Damn, you're really strong, huh? Yeah, I work out sometimes. Oh, oh my god, no. You have to take the top off first and scoop out the guts. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Here, let me show you. Hmm. You really seem like you know what you're doing. Okay, ready? Okay. Wow, this hole is almost as big as mine. Okay, here, you try now. Okay. I already have one right here, but, but thanks. This is a lot harder than it looks. That's what she said. Um, can you help me? Is this just an excuse to get me to be romantic? I don't know. Is it working? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh, hey, Dad. I didn't know you were going to be home so early. Who's this? Hi, I'm JJ. I'm the da oh. dating expert. She's she's the dating expert. What? Uh, yes, I am a dating expert. I have so much experience in dating that they call me an expert. I I'm here for coaching. Good. I'm happy you finally took my advice. Oh, what, was it your idea to hire me? Yes, my daughter is a little bit of a whore, and she's a little bit too proud of it. Okay, no kidding. Well, sir, you can count on me. And is there some kind of learning experience in carving pumpkins? Uh, yes. It, it teaches the overactive brain and body to slow down and focus on a singular task instead of jumping from one thing to another, or in Zoe's case, one person to another. Carry on, then. I'll be in my office. Bye, Daddy. Oh, and Zoe, have that wrapped up before six. I have a business meeting here tonight. Okay. Who does business meetings at night? Um, we can't stay here past six, okay? Why? This is kind of sus. Um, it is. My dad is kind of involved in some sketchy shit. Wait, for real? Like what? Let's finish carving the pumpkins. Okay. Okay, so now we pull all the guts out. You're concerningly good at pulling guts out. <laughs> You're funny. I have a business meeting here tonight. My dad is kind of involved in some sketchy shit. We can't stay here for a So okay, now we pull all the guts out. Okay, now we just carve a face. Do you enjoy carving faces? JJ, what are you talking about? You sound crazy. It was a joke. You look cute carving pumpkins. So, why didn't you want your dad to know that we're on a date? Um, my brother was gay. What brother? Exactly. He, he killed him? What? No! He just kicked him out! God damn, who do you think we are? Oh, what a relief. So, is, is that why you're straight? I don't know. I don't like labels. Or, I guess it just doesn't really matter because I'll never be able to be anything but straight. I'm sorry. You can't look yet, it's a surprise. Mine's a surprise too. Okay, I'm done. One, One two, two, three. It's you. I did you too. Oh, you did me? Aw, you made me look so 
Pretty. You are pretty. This is supposed to be your ponytail. What's that? Oh, nothing. I, I just messed up. Um, it looks like letters. No, really. I, I was just practicing. JJ, show me. No. Show me. No. Why did you do that? I, I, I don't know. Hey, what is going on in here? Who did this? I did. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with you? You're an idiot. I'm sick of your shit. This is not your house, and you shouldn't be treating it like it is. I'm sorry, Daddy. She needs to leave. Okay, Daddy. I'll walk her out. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I like you because you're weird and spontaneous. I never know what to expect with you. Okay, well, I'll see you at school. Bye. Okay, bye. Wait, I don't have a wide. I still can't believe that Mrs. Aspen is teaching history this year. Yeah, dude, I heard that she didn't even actually know how to do math. They made her take some kind of like teacher placement exam and she failed it. So they wouldn't let her teach it anymore. Does she even know history? Um, I like doubt it. The only reason she like had a job to begin with is because like her daughter's the principal. Wait, she's Mrs? She's married? No, dude, she's divorced. She just kept the Mrs. so she doesn't look like a loser. Now, who'd like to read the next paragraph? Me. Someone other than Gerald. Gerald, you can't read every paragraph. Aw. And now. JJ, thanks for volunteering. No. Go on. No, Willie, I was just sniffing my armpit. Unless you can't read. In which case, you should not be in my class. More like third grade. Okay. Um. What page are we on again? I'm like, don't look at me. I don't know. 42. 32? 42. Oh, okay. Thanks. I'm aging over here. Yeah, bro, it's pretty obvious. Excuse me. Just one second, please. I would have done it. Um, like, Botox is actually, like, pretty affordable these days. I've already had it done. Okay, 29, 31, 33. I knew what page it was. 38, 39, 40, 43, 42. Okay, um, what paragraph? I know what paragraph it was. Never mind. I'll just, um, I'll guess. Okay, um, the nation's capital, uh, the battling cities of Mesopotamia had no national identity. Each was its own little kingdom. 